Jones. Yeah, we can't be free until they stop selling us. They make so much money and profit off of our culture. And until we take ownership of ourselves and ownership of that intellectual property, we're never going to be free because we're too valuable to somebody else. And that's all I got. Mm. Feeling good. Yeah. You look good, yeah. man. Yeah. Niggas see you with a cigar like, right, hold on, nigga. You good? You straight? You must be, you must be healthy. <laughs> these, short, no these short range mics, you got to Check, check, check. Yeah. You can roll. She was telling me to tell you to talk into the mic. You tell her I said, okay. <laughs> 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 I was telling her right at the same time. Yeah, have y'all met, you you met Keith? Range, like, you know, comedians, could, you could talk like this. No, no, no. I, 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 I wasn't. I know it was rolling. Oh, have, yeah. Have you met our uh, sound uh, engineer? Key. That's okay. Key. They've been introduced. Key. 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 What? Key. Soprano. Key. Yeah. Key. Key. Soprano music. Oh, wow. She went to Berkeley and she sings as well. She's, She's a singer? She's an operatic. Mm -hmm. Wow. Get out of here. Nice. Undervalued over here. Mm -hmm. Undervalued. No, she's over. She's. <laughs> no, nah. we don't. Yeah, you like it, though. Shit. You like it. You like the abuse. <laughs> We just cured her and shit, but other yeah, than that. Yeah, we got her better. Other than that. Right. She, she trained under Mahalia like Jackson. She still got a lousy nigga in her life, though. <laughs> <laughs> she don't. She's, nah, she happy she's, and free. She's clean. She's, no, no, no. She's, she's don't living believe her life like Happy <laughs> and free, I'm telling you, Rodney. <laughs> what? I can't say you happy and free? Damn. I felt, oh, the way I said it. Damn. I was trying to be good. Yeah, you just being respectful. I felt like yeah, I was on the was, side. Was I, was I don't even queen, know no more, Rodney. That's why I ain't married, Rodney. Right. Yeah. That's the shit right there. You was like happy and free. That's that like, shit made me leave the house. Now look at me. You I ain't what? got no money because she took half of it. All of it. Because I because <laughs> I because I can't stand that. And you ain't happy yeah. and free. Because I don't like that part. I will leave. I will go baroque. God damn it! Again. Before I listen to you <laughs> talk to me, bitch. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, shit. <laughs> Tyler been through it, man. He been, he was a, he's a I'm good joking, man. Guys. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, if you look at my bio, it says comedian. Yeah, I know hey, I do comedy. It says comedian. Hey, I watched the podcast one time, and I just wanted to do like this on the table. It was dirty. <laughs> it was so much weed crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was doing this shit on my screen, like my nigga. That ain't as good as how when we used to leave in the other studio, oh, and we used to look under the chair and like all oh, like he had a three five worth of just weed. Oh, on weed the that a residue. Yeah, drop. <laughs> that nigga Rodney said snacks. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't I, going. There. I was like, y'all brag on me. I was like, hey, wasn't even no snacks. See, Rodney, you wasn't even no snacks. Ain't hey, that before I got here, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> that was before I got here. No treats around. Tyler, what the fuck? <laughs> 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 It's Jack LaLanne. Tyler is 63 years old. Y'all don't know. <laughs> that was y'all don't know. Look at my suit. <laughs> Think I don't pull a boat. Tyler was in Boomerang, nigga. I can't pull a boat. <laughs> the original. Tyler was in Boomerang. Think I can't pull a boat with my teeth, motherfucker. He was in the mail. Think I can't pull I'm a, a boat with my teeth. Jack LaLanne. <laughs> Jack LaLanne, <laughs> what? Hey, Tyler was a stand-in on the Mac. No, he was, <laughs> he was in Boomerang. He was in the mail room with Chris Rock. <laughs> it's a fat boy break up. Not in the Tyler said. Tyler said, "God damn!" On the they table, on the plate. Now do them. Damn, they cut. <laughs> they cut Tyler lines. Boy, y'all in hell. They got Marcus out here fucked up. That's what Tyler said. The More than Culture is the brand. This is the More Than Culture show. Yeah, it is. Come on, the secret genius. Three, come on, right? Tyler Chronicles in it. thing. Ronnie Jordan. Yes, sir. Kick it out. Just got to intro him because I got a fedora. You did. This is your fedora father. Fedora. Hey, yeah, this is the one that you had it in the car ready. I got Always. another one in the car ready if y'all want to do this. That's what I, uh, I got a couple in the car. Uh oh. Hold on now. Is it, it, is it a I battle? It open. I had it all. Don't make him send a nigga to a the car. That's a, a <laughs> right We got a paddle, ladies and gentlemen. I got to get his brother his flowers, man. Call him my, hats, first call time, him. My, my first time My first time taping the Monique show, this brother gave me one of the dopest intros ever in life. Mm. And we had just done a college the, like a couple days before, and Come he on. told the story about the, how the college show went. But he has gone on to do film, TV. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about social media. This is the oh, only man. dude that's killing social media 
like older than us. He's like, <laughs> he's teaching Jenny all the youngest. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this nigga done beat COVID. He done Three had times. a stroke and came back. Mm-hmm, like, Roddy man. Perry died twice. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last week, back. yeah, this nigga came back. Every time he died, his <laughs> his, oh, his okay. improv class, this nigga improv class, get a bunch of people. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga is Luke Cage. Yeah, so this nigga, that's crazy. The Luke Cage of comedy from the shy to sell man. His class yeah. One of the OGs in the game. One of the best comedians <laughs> that we know. Y'all give it up. For, yeah, <laughs> Y'all give it up for Rodney Perry. We got yeah. Rodney Perry. Yeah. Yeah. Now you been, you know, you know this how, how much I'm not a math guy. Mm-hmm. I didn't know what they said for three years. More than culture. Yeah, that's what <laughs> you were like, what is boomerang culture? What is boomerang culture? That nigga was like, greater than culture. Greater than culture. Listen, culture. Greater than culture. What's been up, Rodney man? Perry. Uncle motherfucking Rodney. Uh, you the clubhouse king. I'm just tell you that. Oh, yeah. 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 How I feel to be in a real clubhouse instead of on your phone. <laughs> instead of on the phone. I'm for somebody to tap in and get right. up. Rodney coming today be like, oh, Rodney's in. You got something to say? Like, Rodney, I don't even know what Man, you're talking about. Let me tell you, yeah, me tell me, you a clubhouse Rodney Perry story. Uh, three in the morning, Rodney Perry's like, I'm look, I need four improv artists right now. Go. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. In Hold on. You saw his eyes do that through the phone? Right. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Go. <laughs> ah, my goodness. No, too. no more than like. With 20 people in like four seconds was like, bloop, 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 bloop. Hey, Rodney, what's going on, brother? I heard you had that. Hey, man. So he put it on Instagram and it said he No, he had put it on Clubhouse. That's like a free class, low key. You got to right. pop in, you got to tap in. And I was one of the fortunate selected. Well, what it you was did? great, too, man. I appreciate you, Rodney. What did he do? Tangerine. Who else came on? Oh, shout out Tangerine. Yeah, shout out Tangerine. Oh, uh, my Clay. man, Wavy or something. Wavy, Wavy, yeah. Wavy. Wavy, yeah. He was a little, you know. On okay. The, on the verge. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Everybody's been okay. I mean, you, know. you have to actually probably have done a little improv to pull off improv on Clubhouse. Yeah. When no yeah. one can see you. No, but what we did, yeah. I pulled him out of there. We went into a, a stream yard room and we we because I was oh. testing a show I was creating for uh, my YouTube page. You're a genius. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I forgot. Who I was talking to. I forgot who I was talking to. I forgot who I was talking to. Right. Right. And I'm like, I gotta do it now. And so I did it. At that moment, and it was cool. It was cool. You was again amazing. But I know you got them improv chops. He go so for that like, ash. I know. It, I, I got to. You got to make. You know what I mean? Talk cool. cigar talk. That, hey, that, that's cigar a good. Room. That is a good segue. Talk cigar smoke. How, why do y'all niggas have to have the damn ash oh, all the way to your fingers? It well, it um it affects the the overall smoke of the cigar. Mm. So so you can dump it, but it ain't made to be dumped. So as you smoke it, the ash come down and the, the the better a cigar it is the more it stay intact oh really Ooh, yeah. so you can have so they should just fall and they got some bullshit just swishers or shit. you can let it go too far i mean yeah, it's gravity is gonna fuck with it eventually all right okay. but uh in in general you know the like that that's that's a good stick how they make you feel cool i only do shit i think it's cool come that's on now. cold as hell i swear to god i only I don't, I don't even really like cigars but the shit look fucking <laughs> <cool>. <laughs> <laughs> so i had to get to the I bottom of this i want to take advice from you at all Yo, time. i got real. it how, he how, got it too how advice. did you become the pied piper of the improv children like you're the improv children they come find you this is the thing i, I got to atlanta I wanted to do something. You know, Terry J. Vaughn had um, the coffee shop over there. They was doing class and stuff out of, so I know I want to do something. And I, my first thought was a stand-up class. But stand-ups all feel like they got it. Right. You know, even if they don't got it, they feel like they got it. And so stand-up was kind of whack to me. And my boy was doing it, David Arnold. He was doing a stand-up class, and I didn't want to mimic his shit. Yeah, and yeah. I, and, but I just didn't want to do that. So. My my base, my comedic base has always been improv. Like I did improv before I did stand up, mm. and so uh, I, I knew that could help you whether you're an actor or a stand up or whatever. Yeah. And so I started doing it, and you know I tell cats I'm not teaching improv. I'm teaching you to trust your choices, you know. And you know improv is all about making choices and sticking to it and yes and and moving the story on mm-hmm. and that that can inform your stand-up always man gail bean shout out to gail bean she was on she the show the me out recently. on she the show, show. Yeah. she was just talking yeah. about that man she, uh, she's on snowfall if y'all haven't seen the episode Wanda. um yet Wanda. and she was talking about she she dropped a jewel that, that i was like damn she said that you said that you know 
beginning improv is most of the time will go with their first joke. Mm -hmm. And you said, y'all go, you know, comedians usually go with a third joke would be our first joke. I yes. said, to, in order to just to, and to find a way to, lack of a better term, to dig deeper. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, Off well, the top, though. One of the exercises we do is, is, you know, asking people to make another choice. So, you know, your first idea is your initial funny. Mm -hmm. All right, that's cool. Give me another one. Funnier. Give mm -hmm. me another one. Not necessarily. It might be, it might be horrible. Okay. But you got to get into the practice of going there. Mm, right. And if you go into the practice of going there, you're always ready. Because mm -hmm. you're on a set and a director go, hey, hey, that was great. Can you give me something else? Mm -hmm. Ooh. I have nothing yeah. else. Can we do it now with Remo? Because he's a, he's a great actor. I if want... you don't have nothing else, you like, <laughs> I have oh, nothing man. else. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Can, that help you with your stand-up and everything. Like, you'll punch up uh, your jokes if you have something else. Yeah, like, I've flight. seen you. I've seen you take one joke that I heard one time, and I think, you know, you done heard, heard it. I heard it before, but then it's like, nah, you ain't never heard it this way, though. Mm -hmm. right. And then that way, though. Mm -hmm. well, a joke is like a painting, too. Like, you might paint the same image, but every time you paint it, it's different. Mm. You know, you know that fat dude at the dog. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> every time you paint that picture, it's a little different. The audience affects it. Mm -hmm. People affect it. You know, if it's women in the audience, you might you know, put a little extra on yeah it. I mean? you know? A little fedora on it. You know what I mean? A little door on it. A little door on it. Nah, but um, you were one of the reasons why I would like people was like, why you go up so much? And I'm like, I gotta. Get, it, it's never finished. You know what I'm saying? And I would see yeah. you working your shit out. But when we get to the road, it was like, oh, he been in rehearsal. You know what I'm saying? You been in that motherfucker playing that bass every night, like yeah. chopping that wood. So I, I was always in the practice of if you if if before the world closed up, of course, right. I was somewhere every night if I wasn't on the road. So that it, way we're you know. a constant works in progress. Right, you right. know, I mean, whether it's your set or your vibe, your energy, I mean, we're always subject. But I tell you one thing this pandemic showed me is I need comedy more than it need me. Woo! Come on now. You know, dog. He touched my so, soul. That's this, shirt. this shit hit March, right? <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, yeah. By May, I don't know what to do with myself. Right. Yeah. I'm in I the remember. House. I've been in the motherfucking house 90, 100 days with my wife. She, she don't like me no more. I don't like her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't and like you, her. You saying it out loud. I don't and like her. I, I don't like how I feel either. I've been, I, we've been in, but you know, we've been married 24 years, but we ain't never been in the house 100 days in a row. Mm -mm, you on that yeah, road. Nobody, you know. In the house 100 and so <laughs> it, was, it was a lot, man. But even beyond our relationship, just how much I needed that little, that, those sets. And the people and the stuff we miss. You know, we miss more than anything. The green room, this. Yeah. Right. The kick it. They, that's shit, it. You think room. we went months without this? Y'all probably was still like, fuck it. Well, I turned my <laughs> we turned our IG live into that. Like mm -hmm. Tyler was the first one. I think the pandemic hit. Like, Tyler was a genius. Bro, the, 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 Mark, can I say that out loud? Say it again. Say it Tyler, it. genius. Say Come on, to the microphone. Oh, you yeah. had the whole network. Bro, the yeah. QTN, he was bro. doing programming. Every I, mean, I was. On, I was like I tell everybody. Like you say, you know, do it yourself. I was in the house for those days by myself, yeah. definitely afraid. Wow. Definitely afraid. Like, I really felt like comedy was over. Oh, as wow. Comedy as we knew it was over. I was like, yeah. people will never be able to sit in a room again together. Ever. Yeah. Ever. So what the fuck do I do? Mm -hmm. And that's, that's, what, that's what I was led to. I ain't really Now, when did together. you get to the point where you go, I'm going outside? We we did it. We had a show in um, May. <laughs> Y'all did the movie. We did a movie. Yeah, we did, we did, did an outdoor movie theater. Outside, we, we, everybody was in their cars. We yeah. did it very responsibly. We did it responsibly. Yeah. I was the yeah. first. We was first, yeah. and everybody took it. Could do it anywhere. Anywhere, anywhere like in the world. Yeah. Anywhere. It came from my Can wife's idea. No, yeah. 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 yeah, he he acknowledged it. That's cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you noticed that. Right? I, we weren't sure if people were because aware. LA is starting to do that stuff now. They they're like they're just starting to do stuff. Right. May 23rd. We got video. Let me tell you something. Rodney Perry has always been up before everybody and you're so humble due to the credits that you gain like like is that just been a part of your mantra like you just been like humble because you didn't start off in the comedy space you had a life before comedy i, I don't know if that's true or not i'm 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 really an asshole mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you know i got me. footage of you beat me in mad yeah no, i very, almost very started a fight with this nigga. Yeah. Fight this nigga i, I, I was i was i was waiting all. for the right time to bring it up <laughs> You want to fight me? Because he, because Bank, because no Bank shot busts his ass in Madden. Yes, he did. And he and was clowning me on. Like, <laughs> he was I like, just, but you're not doing well. <laughs> he was like, but if you shut up, do you play? 
Then you play. Like, <laughs> so, but that was the worst idea ever. I think Ronnie's like, we get y'all to come on the show and play Madden. I'm like, yeah. niggas don't talk when they play. Yeah. But yeah. but I got uh, lost. I told him about how bad that idea yeah, was. That shit was weird. On y'all way. You gotta throw. Hey, you gotta try something. We still got footage on that. Y'all probably yeah. still got the footage. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I lost. I, I, to answer your question though, like, humility is kind of whack. So mm. you know, I'm I'm less humble and more just respectful of the craft. Mm. Like, like you a comic, you respect people that do what you do, you know. And so when I when I when I meet a dope ass comedian, regardless of what level they on, you know, cause I and, and I had to learn that, mm. you know. I, I used to be the first quickest person to say that motherfucker's whack or not funny, mm. but who am I? Mm-hmm. How do, how dare you, Rodney Perry, to evaluate? Because as comedians, what's our job? Our job ultimately is to lighten the collective burden. Mm. So if a if a motherfucker walk on that stage and make one motherfucker laugh, he did his job. Right. He did his job. Right. How yeah. dare I evaluate the fact that he ain't shit? He might not be shit. Mm-hmm. He might not. But he touched somebody. But he touched somebody. And, and he might have saved a life. Yeah. That's why. I don't but just don't touch going. me if you ain't shit. That's if you ain't shit, don't. Right the set. please don't touch me if you bomb. Woo. Like no. that's, that's the worst thing about hosting the show. Yeah, I don't like. Uh, that. They gotta tell a motherfucker bomb, and bro. you got daff up. Like, yeah. oh, yeah. all right, y'all, let me get my jokes together. Yeah. 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 You could They don't really back back when I started. They you couldn't really be talking in the circles with the comedians if until you do well a lot. Like you doing well one time that's fine, but you can't come over here and talk with these big dogs until like why are you speaking you can come listen i got vets i still don't talk to i be <laughs> what <laughs> is it like uh um, they alive yeah uh what's <laughs> hilarious, that's hilarious. Uh, it's paul Moody. what's like <laughs> <laughs> no. frederick douglas paul alive. Fred. Fred. Uh, Fred. my man D. out of uh uh dc baltimore um tony wood oh Not tony teddy, wood teddy carpenter, teddy carpenter. that's the og he i just still get did. nervous around Shout teddy tiffany carpenter. had us for putting ogs in yeah. position yeah. yeah, big, Barbara big, Carlisle. big. Carlisle. Barbara yeah. Carlisle, uh, Tony Woods, Tony Wood. Godfrey, uh, Tony Wood. Godfrey, Godfrey. Yeah. I mean, Matt, Matt, Matt Love. Tony Woods set was crazy. Tony yeah. Woods, he's a yeah. oh. set was amazing. He's he just such a, a talented dude. Like, like I, I called him recently. I was like, I ain't never really talked to you, dude. I don't want nothing. I just want to talk to you. Wow. You know, just one best. comic to comic, and we had a, a great conversation because you know he had a, he lost his son. Yeah, you know, and he speak he, he speak about it. He, said, he speak yeah. about it on the special, and I saw him on, on the internet speak about it. I was like, man, I just love the way you 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 able to communicate that because we losing too many young men out there. Right, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, his, his his funny is so effortless. I definitely fuck with, with Tony Wood. So, all right, since we we in the we in the comedy vein, let's talk about the the beginning of it. Like you was in the military first, or did you start comedy first? I was already doing comedy. I was okay. doing comedy easily while I was in high school. Really? Yeah, I, I had teach. I well, I had a teacher in second grade that would let me tell jokes at the end of the day if I shut the fuck up. Okay. Oh, so, you was one of them. So <laughs> I was second one grade. Of them. That's wild. But, but I wasn't the funniest. You know, I got I got classmates that was funnier than me, mm-hmm. but I just needed to do it in front of people. You were the best mm-hmm. performer. I can't even say I was you the best performer. You were scared mm-hmm. to do it. In I wasn't oh, scared. He went home. Oh, this I was shit. I wasn't, wasn't scared. scared. No, it's just un- like first of all. We all from cities where probably everybody funny. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Everybody Chicago. funny. I got a homeboy right now. LA. Levar right. from Chicago. Levar, yeah. everybody in Chicago funny. Nigga. Right. Yo mama funny. Right. Yo grandmama nigga roast your ass. Mm. Man, <laughs> everybody funny. Your uncle. I got uncle. Them niggas. Think I ain't going to see you on goddamn show. Right. Nigga, I seen your monkey ass shit on yourself <laughs> when you was 12. Uh, remember that? You, you was almost that? grown. And you shit. Remember, remember that? that? <laughs> yeah, now that was funny. You doing that? If you do that, you do that when I pull up. You do the shit, yo, nigga. I'm, I'm, I'm there, nigga. Now that was funny. <laughs> Torn the cor- Torn the corner. I said, boom, you like. <laughs> Shitting on yourself when you twelve oh, is funny. I got cousins. I don't hell. know their name. I got a cousin named Maine. I don't know what Maine name is. Funny as hell. Maine. That nigga named Maine to me, man. <laughs> Maine funny as hell. If I ever get a call like collect call from Sylvester, I'd be like, who the fuck is Sylvester? <laughs> it's Maine, dog. It's hey. Maine. Oh shit. You gotta say it real quick, Maine. Maine, it's Maine man. Sylvester Maine Jackson. <laughs> Oh, man, I think that's made. Damn. Could you tell us about the improv show you got, like the the one that you put on YouTube? Because I saw like you doing scenes. I call it I call it Improv Live. We play a series a series of games with uh with the people. You know, um, uh, 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 it's a few. Um, it's stuff that you can do one on one. So you know, it's not nothing you can do with four people, but you can do like one on one games. There's a bunch of them out there, and I grab a couple. I got a couple of different sources, and I make up games, and and we'll just play them in in front of the people on YouTube. 
That's man. dope, man. Yeah, very dope. smart. Cause like I'm it, the crazy. I just be watching you like this is, is a, like he. I re- I literally was at the hospital when this man was recovering. Like the day after, he had a stroke. <laughs> Me and Bill Bellamy, we like we were in Denver, and we pulled up. You were there the week before. Yeah, and we pulled up, and then you know I did not want y'all to see me. Hey man, we had to see you. I did not want y'all to see Why? me. I had to. You know how because you you you, you 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 fucking just had a stroke. You fucked up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Can't walk, but you still you were in a wheelchair. He wasn't even trying to be. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> he was you doing it, but he was ripping. To see you, man. That's what you said. And, and, why and y'all man, come I'm gonna tell you why? <laughs> <laughs> but hit me out though. So, oh my god, I had a show booked, right? Uh-huh. So, uh, uh, LOL was doing those shows, those specials. Oh, wow. We had all those got those the specials. specials. It was a thirty thousand dollar hit, and mm-hmm. I'm trying to make it. Damn right. Fuck so, you I, 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 this is how bro. paranoid I, I was. Didn't get, I didn't get nowhere close to thirty for mine. <laughs> I'm sorry. Damn. <laughs> Damn. This thing everybody got thirty. Nah. <laughs> I <didn't. laughs> Shit. The door didn't cost thirty. <laughs> no, nigga. Like it was the most stroke. I got it. <laughs> we was all getting <laughs> stroke. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so, so uh, I really felt like 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 the people, the producers, was sending y'all to look at me to see if I was okay. <laughs> That's no, how we you out of your mind. We I was shit. fucked up in my head. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, Bill and nobody was it. thinking about that shit but me. Yeah. You know, and I, I call and apologize. I said, I said, I said, nigga, I thought you was a spy. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you come in here. <laughs> Judah's in a black Messiah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we was on, uh, uh, and the we nigga, was if I ever see that nigga, I'm going to kill him. Bruh. <laughs> that Lakeith nigga. I hate, uh, I hate that nigga. I hate that nigga. I hate him <laughs> and motherfucking Tariq. <laughs> niggas are to relief of power. Love them niggas, man. Tariq can't go with no hood. Nah, he got an ass whooping coming. That lets you know you do a good job acting great. when people like hate yeah, you. Yeah, they think person. he really. Yeah, well, that's funny. Yeah, but yeah. to see you bounce back and goddamn, you came back with yeah. your book and you went on tour and you was heating them up and then COVID hits mm-hmm. and then we saw like. Was it That's important a bit of a for you to fast forward? But yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah I'm good, skipping, good. but I'm three, just saying. three and a half years between the COVID. I'm skipping. <laughs> it's like, damn, that nigga had a stroke. The COVID, yeah, he yeah, is yeah, uh, grandpa. Yeah, people like putting that shit like, nigga, people like, nigga, you got COVID. Nigga, you just stroke last week. Nigga, Yo, you all right? that was three years. It was <laughs> last <laughs> week. <laughs> you know, but the, the the COVID was was really like here. Here goes. I never contemplated my mortality. Mm. Only one time, and I had so I had the stroke. Well, not even I hadn't. I'm, I'm in, the, in my, my hotel room. I'm on the road, Denver, Colorado. It's Friday night. I went to the Walmart to check my blood pressure. It was 221 over 140. That sound high. Astronomical. Damn. Yeah, okay. There is, it's it's higher than high. It sound like it's some butter like in your blood. Right? <laughs> two, yeah. you, 220 over 80. 120 over 80. It's, yeah. the, good, it's the good idea. Right. That's where he lives right now. Yeah, I'm at 120 over 80. <laughs> and so I was through the roof, and in those moments, I made a decision to do that set that night, to, to go to the club and do that set. Mm-hmm. And so what I, what I said to myself is, if I'm going to die, I want to die on stage. Come on, Rodney. That's some comic oh, shit. That's right. like, it's, it's and, so, and so I did two shows. After two shows, good shows, too. I still got them on tape there on my phone. And uh, I, I went to the emergency room, uh, walked in. Uh, they checked me in the ICU. I was there for the next eight days in ICU. I come out of ICU, and I spent the next 45 days learning how to walk again. Sheesh. Oh, learning geez. how to walk and learn how to get my hand back, you know, get my left side back. So, so when they came, Nobody I'm cares. still like, man. No, it was like the, it was like the week before, a couple days. <laughs> <laughs> Stop, <laughs> he was really, he was doing it. Nigga, this, yeah, what, this is real arm, life. Yeah. They are. I got to figure out how to make so this shit funny. funny. I'm in, I I'm feel in my, so bad I'm in laughing my, at I, it. I know this. I know a couple of things. I know comedy enough that if I breach this subject, I'm thinking about this shit while I'm in the bed. Like, yeah, I'm going like, to be talking how, about this. This shit going to be sad. Yeah. You know, the worst yeah. thing you have in comedy is, oh. Right. Yeah, on the stage. So how do I make this shit funny? And so I'm going through, then then I start just paying attention to my, my, my nurses and my docs and shit. You know, the motherfucking Mr. Patty, I had this uh, African dude. He said, Mr. Patty, please go to sleep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I be wide awake, nigga, in the middle of the night. <laughs> and that become, uh, that become a character that I'm, I'm doing on stage now. So it, it's, it's always a way to figure it out. 
Man, oh, that's, dope, that's amazing. That's amazing. Shit is crazy. Yeah, so, so um, now, movie wise, what, like I tell you, I think I tell you this all the time. One of my favorite movies that you're in, and my favorite movies is just fucking Catch at Night. It came on Showtime, and I don't remember the name of it, but you were a fucking mailman. And oh, a me and Tony Rock. Comedian, you and Tony Rock. Fucking amazing movie. That's a good movie. That is man. a fucking. So the original title great was. Movie. Um, they, they, the title of that, if you want to look for it, is called Come On Man. Come On Man. And you can go to Come Showtime on, on um, the app and find that Show, too. Yeah. yeah, Showtime anytime. So it's, it's Come oh, On shit, Man. I haven't seen that. It's, the, the story is about uh, a comedian, Tony Rock's character, who blows up. Uh, and then he 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 comes he goes the, the top, uh, heights of comedy and then comes down mm-hmm. and so he had made all these promises to his homie and and he didn't do none of them when he blew up now he back down and he's making the promises again <laughs> and his boy is there for him his boy is like you know right. dude I got you but my wife is like fuck that nigga he's a lying second right <laughs> <laughs> like babe it don't matter you know he's a good nigga and and I and I I quit my little male job to go on the road with him and we go. Traveled around the country, whatever, and he he relapsed and this mm-hmm. and that, and, and ultimately he leaves me hanging again. Mm. And uh, it's a really good movie. It speaks to our real existence. That was the right. main thing for me you watching know. it as a, and I was a fairly new comedian at the time when I saw it. So just watching that and just looking, I was like, this shit is like, like probably like a real story. Yeah. I feel like that was and, real. And Tony Tony Rock turns in a performance. That was fucking amazing in this movie. Yes. Like, the dude, so the director is my friend. I know him. He's from Chicago, Kenny Young. Mm. Kenny Young would do shit with us, like, just on some actor shit. He would just sit in the room and be like, interview us as the character. Mm. You know, he did it with me and my wife. He did it with me and Tony. Mm. He would just talk to us as as the character. Wasn't no lines. He would just go through it. Nigga. So how long y'all been friends? Mm. Oh man, me and this nigga met back in the open mic days, back you know, 15 years ago. I saw, I knew he was gonna be a star when I saw him. You know, Tony had his moments and stuff, and and it, it really made us build those characters even more. So when we got, when we got, and he know real shit about you. You know, he know that that Tony had lost a brother, and so nigga, it was a moment Tony needed to really go there emotionally, and he, he whispered some shit in that nigga ear. That nigga went. Down. Man, you know, I think like, I know nigga, the scene. I'm like, what you say to that nigga, man? And so I had to come in and console the nigga on some real shit. Mm. You know, and uh and it was it was uh it was amazing. And 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 here's the thing about me and Tony, we was cool, but I thought Tony didn't like me. What? I was like, this nigga, you know, we had never hung out, we had never been around each other extended period, you know. But y'all was in the same circles, like hitting the same yeah, we, spot. Exactly. Mm. But but we, you know, we just wasn't boys, right. you know. And uh, nigga, I walked out of that movie with a friend. Yeah, you did. You know that nigga was my friend. Like even even now, we don't talk every day. But you know, and we talked afterwards. He's like, nigga, you thought I didn't like you, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> nigga you funny as fuck. Yeah. Nigga, the only way I like it is if you ain't funny. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so we had we had some great moments. And that's that's one of my favorite movies because it man, wasn't yeah. all all comedy. But I ain't even on the cover of that. Mm-mm. You know, they they got all these. Everybody made a cameo. They put them on the cover. And I'm like. Right. Yeah, I mean, humility is whack, but you fucking killed that shit yeah, it's, too. It's a good like, movie. It's, it's a, a good, good movie. movie. It got heart. It got it got funny. It got introspect. It got make you look at yourself. That shit is dope, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy really I got to see it. I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that. I'm proud of a movie I did called um, uh, the Detroit movie. It's called uh, Once Upon a Time in Detroit. Mm. Joe Blunt directed it. Joe I know Blunt. that name. Comedian Joe, yeah. comedian Joe comedian, Blunt from yeah. Detroit. So, so give you some some comedy history. So, before there was Wild and Out, mm-hmm. there was these dudes called Another Level: Banky Hayes, mm-hmm. Joe Blunt, Thomas Ward, and um, Howie, Bell. Howie Bell. How old is Spanky Howie Hayes? Bell. Spanky Spanky Hayes is a cool fifty something. Yeah, right. exactly. that's faux pac down in Vegas right <laughs> Easily. now. Easily, he, he got his shirt off right now at a that pool. nigga look like he Spank is twenty five. Spanky might be older than me. Yeah, so Spanky a cool fifty. <laughs> 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 Who's in the little rascals? <laughs> <Literally>. <laughs> uh, he was a real spanky stunt up. He did all the all, oh all the dangerous God. stuff. Spanky had the only nigga to be a little rascals uh, and wild enough. God damn, Fred is crazy, crazy. <laughs> Man, that's hilarious. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, so they was doing improv stuff back then in L.A. and they had a deal with with uh, Will Smith Company, and they was gonna go, and um, it just it just never happened. 
And uh, so Joe Blunt started writing, producing, and directing. And so he called me one day and said, man, I got this script. He sent it to me. I read it. I was like, this is good. Mm -hmm. No money, but, you know, he had, he had a bed and, a, and, a, and you know, somewhere else for the lay. And we played Madden for, like, 10 days, and we yeah. shot this movie, man. And mm -hmm. it ended, it's a cool little movie. It's on, it's on Amazon. There it's called go. Once Upon a Time Detroit. Yes, Check sir. I play yeah. a dirty cop. Oh, I love shit. it. I love yeah. it. You had a few cop roles, man. I see yeah. you you're posting and, and doing that. Yo, it's one movie, man. You are in it. Chris Smokey Jones is in it. Mm -hmm. And that I've been a seeing TV it. show. That was it's that was TV supposed to be a, that was supposed to be a TV show. It was called Black Gold. Black Gold. There this it is. dude here, uh, Marcelo Marcel. Knight. Oh yeah. Marcelo okay. is is super creative. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So Marcelo will call you in the middle of the day. Hey, I want to shoot a scene. Give me, uh, <laughs> <laughs> me in the West End. <laughs> right. <laughs> what? Where the fedora? <laughs> you, know, right. you, know, you know, people book me half the time because they know I got suits. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jules. Go Who's crazy. a comedian with a suit? Rodney Perry. Right. I bet he got one ready to go. <laughs> bet he wearing a suit right now. Nigga, that's, that's, that's almost here. That's a comedian almost Jim. Here. You know, uh, comedian Pierre finna have a suit in the car now, right? That's this is what comedians come here to get their jewels. So get it right. oh, get yeah. you a suit, comics, and keep it. And a good set. A good set. Yeah, be funny too. Yeah. It helps. Yeah. That's help. Yeah. Yeah, Your suit looks real trash when you ain't funny. Like, why oh, this nigga got on a suit? Oh, it turned into the it turned into the chopper suit. Remember this nigga chopper? wore a suit to do this. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not the whole hand. This nigga's the at whole his, thing. You clearly at your funeral. <laughs> <laughs> the chopper suit. I forgot about the Remember chopper suit. Remember the chopper suit? suit? <laughs> oh, wow. Anyway, man, the uh, so Monique, Monique show. Monique Damn, show. that's what's up. Jinx. Good job. Yeah. You know, Rod Rose is one of one of our guys over here. Rod Rose is the homie. He was over at the Money Show. Vanessa Fractions was over there. Y'all had like a. I got Vanessa Fractions that job. Start shout out to you, Talk bro. Talk about yeah. it, man. Talk about so, that experience. So, so damn, before, I wish I had known you. <laughs> I wish you had. I I met you around that time, though. Yeah, it was like Cloud Nine time. So, so um, before we do TV, we do radio. Mm. So Monique is that. Monique is on a syndicated radio show. They own like 17, 20 some markets around the country. Uh, Houston, Baltimore, you know, the densely populated urban areas. Mm -hmm. She's doing Monique in the afternoon. She's got another guy that's her co-host. And just to give you some sense of what time it was, it was right before we elected Barack Obama the first time. Okay. Ooh, Damn, so, 07, 07. 07? Yes. So I go in, I go in on like a, a weekend. It's a voter drive. Mm -hmm. Monique is at a remote broadcast, voter drive. A bunch of comedians come through. Me, Joe Torrey, Guy Torrey, a bunch of people come through. And we go in, we'd we be funny with Mo for a couple of minutes. Right. I get on there, and it's magic. Me and Mo just have this cool chemistry, you know, and it was, it was just dope. And so the producer, uh, he hit me up. He's like, yo, uh, we, we really like your vibe with Mo. Unbeknownst to me, they, get, they about to get rid of the dude. Unbeknownst. Unbeknownst to him as well. So it was an audition <laughs> to get rid of the dude. He might have knew. You know you be kind of knowing. You know. He might have known. Look, when you a co-host and you see nine people, <laughs> you might have known. You a co-host and you see nine niggas that's funny walking the door, you like, yeah, you need to get your shit. Call your agent. Maybe that was audition or who knows. But Sound like audition, right? I didn't know. I had no idea. Now that y'all say it, I just know he was like, they got Rodney Perry too. Yeah. What the fuck? He jumps off the whole stage. So, 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 uh, <laughs> so and, and, and I'll even go further back into my story. I did radio in L.A. Mm. on KJLH TV Wonder Station for like, no shit. For like four or five years. So I'm on radio, morning radio, number two market in the world, in L.A. for free. Mm. I'm making no money. Right, and the gas is still high. Yeah, radio, 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 no money, right? Radio and and my friends game. like, you keep going up there for no money, you stupid. Da, da, da. Nah, fuck that. I'm like, whatever. I'm 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 still building my brand. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. I'm in L. A. And to, to have your name stick out in L. A. Yeah, among yeah. all these great comics is is very difficult. Mm -hmm. And so I, I was doing that. I, I started advertising my night at the comedy union. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm, I'm we we. It started off Fridays. Fridays became come in on Monday, and before I knew it, I was there all all week, every week. Me and Rod Man at one point, and then it became me, just me, uh, uh, coming in because we would switch off. So Cliff you was West, hosting every day at the comedy. 
No, just Friday, but oh, the gotcha. radio gig became every day. Gotcha. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. All right, got it. <laughs> I about to say, damn, you are a fucking like, beast. Is so <laughs> a Friday, Saturday, you're Sunday, the, Monday, Tuesday. You're in the hood in LA telling jokes every day. No, no. <laughs> I was damn. probably going up every day, but not not at one got place. Got you. But hosting every day is fucking crazy. <laughs> That's another animal. Yeah. <laughs> so um, so I do that, and I got that baggage in my head. So that's why I told y'all that part. So I, Monique called me. I mean, they hit me up to come in with her. I come in the day after Barack was ele- elected. So the Tuesday was the election. The Wednesday was my first day. Mm. Wow. I walk in there, and we have, a, we have a great show. The first show, you know, uh, afternoon, Monique. It was, it was a, a cool chunk of the day. It was like from 2 to 6. Mm-hmm. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't no late. You know, it was like, right. it was really 10 to 2, but it was, we was on the West Coast, so it was earlier. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? And so it was, it, was, it was just a cool vibe. And so at the end of the day, they was like, hey, hey I'll see you tomorrow. Hey. And I'm like, all right, see you tomorrow. All right, for free. But, but, but right. I, got that, I got that free baggage in my head. I'm like, man, this is the first day of another fucking four-year free shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That's what you had in your phone ass for your free shit. Shit. So, so Wednesday come, uh, uh, Wednesday go, uh, Thursday come and go at the end of Thursday, like, yo, all right, Rod, hey man, see you tomorrow. And I'm like, all right. Payday. All right, well, you know, maybe this day, <laughs> day two or four years for free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I go in there two, two, day, two days, Friday I come in. Friday is an amazing show. Mo, Mo and I have an amazing show. After the show, it's different. You know, it's kind of a little quiet, a little weird. You know, Sydney put me to the side. And, and he get a lot of bad raps. And I'll say this on y'all's show. He a good dude, man. And he Sydney. Could, Sydney. Oh, Sydney yeah, Hicks, her, her husband. Sydney Hicks, Mo's husband. Yeah. And Sydney put me to the side. Now I'm pulled to the side. Uh-uh. I'm like I'm about to get fired right. for right. free. Nigga, I ain't even. How you get fired? fired for free? How you get fired? You ain't got a job yet. I ain't even. wrote nothing. <laughs> hey, how you get fired? I ain't wrote fired? my name on nothing. I ain't even filled out a you W two. W, 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 w ain't no Smokey. W's. How you lose a job? <laughs> ain't got none W's. Smokey. They came and got an L. No insurance. Got fired on your second day of apprentice. Apprenticeship. He said, "Dog man, we we really love you on the show with Mo man and and y'all vibe. Your energy is great, and we can't offer you a lot, but." I mean, we can only do like a six-figure salary. <laughs> <laughs> well, what what was the expression on your face versus the emotion on the inside? And <laughs> just lost your ass. That was his emotion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, yeah. Improv Ooh. master. There you go. I know the nigga that lost that job wanted to kill you. <laughs> he was going on. <laughs> <laughs> he was already gone by the time I came. But still, you still the new nigga, though. I'm definitely he listening like this nigga got but my six figures. But to not think you was gonna get paid to them saying. Mm. And so four years rock, is worth it. We rock for about four or five months every day, and then the show get canceled. Oh man! But I'm a comic. You know, I'm always waiting for shit to fall apart. Waiting for the trap door. The on, trap dog. motherfucking door. I'm like, on, I don't never step in it because I always see it. Yeah. Oh, there. And yeah. so <laughs> I'm like. You know, and at, when it was, when it ended, Mo already done Precious, but it hadn't came out, Ooh. right? And so she was like, "Rodney, bigger and better things are coming," mm. right? She said it to me, and I was like, "All right, you know, it's cool. Appreciate you. It's been a great experience." Hell yeah! And so probably three weeks. Hey, later, it's four months of some uh, six and seven thousand dollar checks is very it's a good day. Amazing. Amazing. Oh. Good day. It's, a good day. it's a good run. You know how many suits, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> Fedoras <laughs> on fedoras. Come on, I tell, I, tell much, I tell you how much, how many suits I had. <laughs> All my wardrobe first season of Monique show was my clothes. <laughs> I've been waiting to pull this shit. I got what you, what you say, Gray? I got that. Ah, so, uh, in the car with me. <laughs> so, so about three weeks later, Mo called me out the blue. Rodney, nigga, I just made a bigger deal in BET history. Uh, uh, I want you to roll with me. Uh, I got to go. I can't talk right now. Click. She hang up. And BET mm. history is crazy. I'm history. like, Donnie Simpson What the fuck who? just happened? Donnie Simpson who? Right. <laughs> 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 nigga, big legs <layers> where? <laughs> right? That's so funny. The next call I get is probably seven days later. Sydney called me. Rod. BT gonna be calling you in a couple minutes, man. Be ready. We about to do this shit. The show gonna be crazy, man. We want you. Bro. You gonna rock with us? It's gonna be crazy. I gotta go. Can't talk to you. I gotta go. They didn't even say what it is. Yet. Like I don't know what it is. 
But I, what I learned through my, my career up to that point is never sleep on nothing. Mm -hmm. mm. So the next call I get is from BT. Hey, Rodney Perry, so-and-so, my Zach over here, BT. But she used to work at TV One, the lady mm. that called me. She worked at TV One. So I so, said, man, I remember you used to be at TV One. Oh, yeah, get out of here. And I always talk to the off person. Always. Always. It's easy to talk to the main Triple person. Jewel. I tell you that shit. Always talk to them people. <laughs> them, no, and that always. was the, she was now, she was the big person, but she used to be the off person. They always person. coming up. Yeah. Yeah. She's like, yo, Rodney, uh, Mo loves you. She wants you to be a part of this show. We're going to be shooting in Atlanta. Are you willing to relocate? <laughs> yes. Man, <laughs> well, I've seen Freak Nick. Without question, <laughs> I, without question, I'm ready to locate. Okay. I ain't even talked to nobody. I didn't ask my wife. Nobody needs to know. <laughs> I can make this call. Right, yeah. The fedora the call. call. <laughs> <laughs> the fedora made the call, baby. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what you're talking about. So, uh, <laughs> she go, oh, oh, by the way, um, I know you'll be re relocating. You have a family and whatnot, but we don't pay for that. And uh, I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm coming. Mm hmm so I get off the phone with her. Sydney called me, he excited. Hey man, you talk to BT? Yeah, I talked to him. I talk to him. Yeah, man. So, so you ready to rock and roll? It's gonna be, it's gonna be crazy, right? Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be dope. He said, "What's wrong?" I said, "No, no, it's all good. You know, it's good." He said, "Rod, what's up?" I said, "Well, they said, and I'm coming from the military too. Mm -hmm. You know, I know whenever you move a family across country, Shit. you kind of cover that. Yeah, you know." I said, man, they, they just said they don't do they don't do nothing for people that's moving across the country. They would, couldn't help me with nothing. He's like, what? Nigga, let me call you back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they called me back in five five minutes. Hey, right. Rod, is twenty grand enough to move your family to Atlanta? Man, listen, Shit. give me twenty five, yeah, nigga. I said, nigga, I could have done it for five. Right. <laughs> That's why I have a 25, because I know you got it. Well, I, didn't ask, I mean, he, 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 got, he got them, cut that check for me, and, yes, and we sir. moved to Atlanta, man. And I, I, man. I actually, so I'm talking to them like on a Friday. I was doing Atlanta the next Monday. Wow. The, the, the set was already built. I was in Atlanta the next Monday. My family don't come to a month, a month and a half later. Right. So my wife is pregnant. She had to move all our stuff by herself. Shit. She had to fly the kids out, the dog, mm. <laughs> to Atlanta uh, by herself. How many kids you have at the time? Uh, she was pregnant with our sixth child. Whew. Yeah, our six, our fourth together, our, our sixth child. You were doing so. Also, That's people true. need to realize you were doing four years of free radio with all them goddamn kids. kids. I definitely was. Okay. Oh shit! What's today? I mean, close it in. I'm trying to see what this AMC stock gonna do, and then. <laughs> <laughs> but I can tell you what y'all could get. What stories of the succubus? I heard about. Hey it. man, on Amazon right now. You can, hey, oh, that's sure. time what's up. You buy a book and have an erotic reading. Erotic reading, erotic right there. Reading. Now you gotta let your lady read it by herself, and then you just go back in the bus and get sucked. You know what I'm saying? You just show up with the dick. Hey, got a penis. <laughs> You read anything interesting? Yes, indeed. Stories of a succubus on Amazon right now. Right. You pick it up. Let your girl read it while she's shit. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> I was. <laughs> And, and it was, it was, yeah. boy, I, it felt, was that, I felt that, I felt that chuckle, that laugh. <laughs> that chuckle, I felt that shit in my soul, boy. It, 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 was, moments, it was moments when I had no car. Mm. Like, so I moved to LA in 98, and by 2000, I got probably two cars repossessed. Damn, man. You know, my this, this one car was, I knew that car was a piece of shit when we bought it. My <laughs> wife had to have it, and I blame her. If she watches, I blame you. <laughs> It was a Chrysler Ford, LeBaron. The Ford Taurus. Ooh. Oh. A cop car. It was a blue, it was a blue Ford Taurus. I hit this motherfucking Boy. car from the repo man so long. The nigga, <laughs> the nigga eventually just called me. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. The nigga, wait, the repo nigga called me. He's like, hey, Roddy Perry. I said, yeah, I said, yeah who's this? He said, hey, man, I'm the repo man. Uh, <laughs> See, that nigga's called himself the repo uh, man. Nigga, I'm, uh, you good. Yeah. You good, nigga. I've been trying to get your car, nigga, for six months. You, <laughs> you are fucking amazing. But I'm going to get it, nigga. I'm going to get it. I know you got a baby on the way, nigga. And you got oh, your, my oh, my God. You got, you got so baby. So you listen to the show. <laughs> they got a private. No, this, nigga, this, nigga say, this nigga say, look, I know you got baby seats and shit in the car. I'm going to throw mm. all that shit away. If I need <laughs> oh, my God. I told him, I said, you know what? Just I'll come put get it on the street tomorrow. Yeah. yeah man. Let me get my baby seats. You don't street, want man. that on your back, man. I put it on the street tomorrow. And and I always shout out my, my boy Joy Wells. Uh, uh you know, plastic cup boy, all mm -hmm. that good stuff. But Joy Wells took me everywhere I needed to go for probably two years. Nice, man. Just literally friend, every single place. I mean, and 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 here it goes. It's one thing to do something for a motherfucker, but to do something where he don't have to feel it. 
like the most Joe ever said to me was lock my door, nigga. Wow. And I was notorious for leaving the nigga door. <laughs> 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 Niggas don't appreciate hey, nothing. Hey, hey, right. I get it. I'll be in the car sitting next to me. He's like, nigga, how you get in here? Nah, <laughs> how you get in? <laughs> how, you, how you get in here? I must have left the door locked, Joe. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and and it, it wasn't until I, I bought this white minivan and I was sitting in that minivan and I, I turned to Joey to say something and he wasn't there. That I realized that this nigga been riding me around for the last two years. Wow. You know, and, and during that time, I got my first job in Hollywood writing for Kim Whitley. You know, mm-hmm. Kim Whitley brought us along with old drama and, and that show early on. And it peeped this, how the whole shit come full circle. So Kim Whitley gave my first writing job. The executive producer of the Monique show is the same executive producer. Come on, man. That's dope. You know, and so um, wow. it, it, it's just it's just a small world. And, and we start making TV uh, here in Atlanta, man. And, and I've been here ever since. Everybody like, you coming back to L.A.? I'm like, yeah, I like L.A., but I ain't going to get this house in L.A. Come on, man. You know? Not with all these And shit. I got enough of a brand where I don't have to be in L.A. every day. Talk your shit. Come you going to hit man. that road? You hit that East Coast trip, that, that East Coast uh, road trip, man? But you have one, you're one of the people that evolves daily. With this game, because you know we've seen some comedians that me, you, you know, you're you're you well, you you started in '98, right? So I started 2001. Mm-hmm. But shit, it's a lot of comedians we know for a fact that did not keep up with technology. They didn't keep up with how shit was turning. Everybody, they they talk shit about the whole next generation of niggas who are in charge right now. And they, you know, you got to reach back and get some help. But like we, I think I got it from you always embracing what the younger generation got going and try to see where we can help each other. So I got a lot of that from you, Joe Claire, Tony Roberts. I really like studied y'all, like how y'all was moving with the, to, cause it keeps you alive forever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, you don't never get old. You always know what's going on. Right. I think for me, it's, it's less trying to connect with the youth and more just remaining kinetic. You know, I'm always, trying to stay in movement and movement requires you to to to, to stay with, to, to look at the young folks it requires you to pay attention to what's coming up coming down the, the uh, road and so you know I've always been you know like whenever I feel like whenever I'm at a loss I, I feel like just create something make let's make something else you know you know you had a loss write a book you had a loss mm-hmm. do a uh do a prank call. That's my prank call CD. Come on, man. Come on, I was going to ask you, you about know? that. Prank yeah. answers. Prank answers. So everybody <laughs> t- make prank calls, but mm-hmm. I went into people's businesses that prank their customers. Mm. So we answering the phone. It's prank answers. Wow. And you got a fedora to match the goddamn logo. And I got it. Boy. I got, I got, I did, I Perfectly. I got this made at the mall. <laughs> <laughs> I got this made at the mall. He's still a daddy. He's still a daddy. With the heat transfer, nigga. heat transfer, That shit sizzled a little bit. How you said, I got this made at the mall. I was like, proud of myself. <laughs> you said, like, my daughter made this for me. Uh, <laughs> that's amazing. Shout yeah. out to your kids, man. Somebody just had a birthday, right? You just mm-hmm. had... Your kids always got a birthday because that's how many you got. <laughs> this is just our time of the year because I, I got two, I got three that hit, four that hit around this time, including my wife. So my, my, my 20 year old just turned 20, my 18 year old just turned 18, my wife just had a birthday, and my son is March 14th. So between Ooh. January and March, we got like yeah, four or five birthdays. Mm. That's, a good, that's good college season money, though. How was it, though, like them come up years? <laughs> when them birthdays was hitting. Like, people don't understand that struggle of being a comedian, especially, like, when you're starting to get some momentum and you're traveling and you can you can afford to take care of your family. But all them birthdays hit, like, when you're... The birthdays, and yeah. you think birthdays right after Christmas. That, yeah, that you part, too. Done, you just done hustled up to get Christmas, and now, you know... But th- this is what I learned, like, on some real man shit, is as a man, you just got to build that into your hustle. Period. Because you got stuff that, like, there's necessities that's not necessities to us. Yeah. Like, as a man, you don't need to get your hair done. You don't need your nails done. Mm-hmm. But your woman do. Mm-hmm. She need that for her psyche. And so, you, I just would have to build her necessities into my hustle. So, where I normally will hustle for 1500 a month, I got to hustle for another five. Yeah, mm-hmm. I gotta Easy. make another five out of that to accommodate the things she needs, mm-hmm. so she can stay happy, even though we we struggling. Right, right, for sure. Mm-hmm. But had, also, had, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Talk about laughs> strokes. 
<laughs> That's where strokes come from, yeah. niggas. So strokes. y'all want five hundred a month. Y'all want to do that extra five hundred? God damn it, that shit <laughs> is. Cost you a stroke. That run you two twenty over thirty or whatever the fuck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> two twenty God over damn, one twenty. That shit just ran my blood pressure. Up I, listening I, to boy. it. Shit, I just got to get an extra five hundred a month with my with my talking. That's it. No, no that's that's, that's, that's it is. That's, cool. Cool. Yeah, that's real, bro. <laughs> I can listen. Oh, uh, listen, listen, bro. I am fine not eating. I was fine living in my car. I was fine doing whatever I had to do. But I do not know if I could disappoint some children. You can't. You can't. Yeah, you can't. And you won't. Boy, like, crazy. like, and and I attribute my my family for for keeping me focused a lot, mm-hmm. right? Because right. like, I had peers that was. You know, on all the bitches and, you know, on, excuse me, bitches. No, nah, it's not. Like, <laughs> yeah. Talk, excuse talk me, to, I, They definitely watch. Please watching. talk excuse to this. Me, <laughs> that didn't mean no harm. They said, wait a minute, Uncle Ratney over here? Bam. Excuse me, bitches. <laughs> no. No. But, so, so, so me, bitches. but, but I, no, I excuse see, me, I see bitches. my friends, excuse you know, me. you know, with addictions, <laughs> alcohol, drugs, and I just never had that luxury because I always had people depending on me. That's a fact. You know, and so, I mean. Yeah, real talk. I can dig that. Man, this is a dope shit. Yeah, yeah. But shit, though. Uh, <laughs> Great segue. But shit, though. But shit, though. Shout out. So, okay, speaking of, uh, you're talking about uh, reaching back and everything. Are there any um, newer or, I guess, younger comedians that you would like to, uh, that you like, damn, this kid right here is really, really good? Yeah, you and you know, uh, we, we talked off the air about what Tiffany is doing. You know, that that's a new goal of mine is to get hot enough where I can bring, you know, help some motherfuckers that wouldn't get no they looks. Wouldn't get it, right. yeah. Right. You know, uh or or like even like You do it, you take people on the road though when, I, when I do, I do. I, I really don't, enjoy don't, that. But that ain't changed nobody's life. Shit. It does. It's yeah. the start of it. it. Put, well, it puts you put other people. It pe- is. What, what you do, and what I'm telling you, I seen you do it. You put comedians in another light. They money change. They mm. get better. They I start need, dressing better. I, you need know, they, to, I need to shout Ronnie out on this I'm one. serious. Because yeah. he was one of the first ones to show me that you can literally make a living doing this. Yes. I used to just think it was like, if you're on TV, blah, 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 you're you done. Like, you shouldn't do this. Right. But I was like, oh, you could be on TV. For a little bit, it don't even matter because you gonna work and be steady, yeah, and have probably more income than your friends you went to college with. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. Oh yeah, like one thing moving to Atlanta showed me, because you know if you live in L.A., so thank you, brother. You live in L.A., right? Yeah. L.A. is like, thank it's you. like white collar comedy. <laughs> oh, thank you, brother. <laughs> hey, black hoodie, bro. <laughs> you did. Ah, black hoodie. Uh. Hey, no, 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 but, but black hoodie, the black hoodie. Mm. No, no, black yeah. hoodie, you right. Yeah, the hoodie so, uh, is black. Black hoodie, man. Black hoodie? Is it that black hoodie? Um, it is that black yeah, hoodie. Man. So we uh we like to end the black hoodie <laughs> with a with a segment we call Black Hoodie. Black Hoodie. I am the black hoodie. And this is the black hoodie. You know what I mean? It's like white collar comedies. Talk LA, about that. LA is like white collar. I mean, it's like you know these guys are they they got the mind for the business. They doing Hollywood they're stuff. Trying to get on they, TV. They trying right. to get on TV. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Book some shit. Atlanta is blue collar. Mm. It's workers. No yeah. collar. Yeah. Funny as hell. T-shirt. You know. And we fucking, dare you to and, come and, here and, and not they, be and, funny. And it's their business. <laughs> it's their business. They they got houses and. Cars and you know, I think Lab Love had an elevator in his house. <laughs> Lab, Love, Lab Love been getting money like before he was on any so TV. They said he had an elevator in his house. Elevator. Got an elevator. They I got was working, together. yeah. You know? And so it was so many comics just out here working and making a living, and you really didn't know them that way. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, this is a, this is a blue collar town. Yeah. So when I got here with my LA mentality, I started a room up. I had a room of Mingles right downtown. Mingles, yep. yes, sir. I, I, I had that, that little room down there. And I remember, I, remember uh, I called Doodle Brown. I said, Doodle Brown, you coming through, man? He's like, he like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's going to be 300. I said, 300? Yeah. On a fucking Wednesday? Yeah. Hey. Man, we don't get the fuck out of my face. All right, I got you. All right. And I paid him. I would never play him again. Mm-hmm. You know, but I was rich. <laughs> I got the three hundred. I just, I, I just had to say something about it. Yeah, I, I don't like it one bit. 
I don't give a fuck if it's two dollars. I, I don't, don't like call it. your ass to say hello again. <laughs> that is three fedoras. <laughs> it's three fedoras. <laughs> a fedora and a half. Fedora but me and Robbie did like a half. Half. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's don't know. Think it's we got an Ivy Park fedora. Fedoras <laughs> cost more than Jays. Yeah, I'm gonna say this bitch cost three fifty right yeah, now. Yeah, say. Okay. Nice right now, but yeah. you know, use my coupon code Ronnie Hats on Belize and Mo. Yeah, you know man, coupon code hats. Yeah, hey, for sure, nigga. In in real life, take it down to three forty five. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but we did. Second hat. <laughs> second hat. <laughs> I remember having fun with your ass at a college show though. I was because I never got to kick it with you, and you was like, "Nigga, you funny." And some, like <laughs> you was like, "Come here." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Come here. But we yeah. but we was in a gym and it was a rowdy ass school, and I was like, "I got it." You know, <laughs> like I ain't flinching no shit like that, but I'm like, nigga, I ain't going behind Rodney Pierce. Right. Fuck what you say. Yeah, I, I, I took my biggest L's at college shows though. Mm. How is that though? Like when that you shit is no fun. Nigga losing. <laughs> <laughs> How bombing. is that? Is a sick ass question. Bombing. How is bombing? Saying, bombing like, never right. feels good. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm why, like, when is, when what's your adjustment niggas? when you move from college to a club? Club college. Well, well, first of all, it's different now yeah. than it was when I when I did college. When I was a young dude, you know, it, you know, it was like a lot of stuff you couldn't say. But now these kids, they talking about side bitches and. And 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 you know all a real it's real it's more adult now. It's intense. Yeah. It's it's way it's more. And I I'm sure you saw a change over the years. Yeah. How how savvy the kids were. And, uh, and so the schools are not progressing with the school uh, the kids. Some like a lot of the major HBCUs, you can't say damn on a show. Right. You can't say no. They set you up to get or take and a break. And these kids roast you back <laughs> and they cuss. <laughs> these kids roast you the back. And, and, and you can hit a moment in the college show that you can't follow. Yep. You can roast a kid and it be that one kid that everybody wanna see get roasted mm -hmm. and the place explode. You be like Yo, said my it done. ain't nowhere near this yeah. year. I ain't got none of that. Who else wanna say something? <laughs> you know. But but I, I like I like to watch how it's evolved though, like how people approach the college shows now. You see Ox Court Wars and stuff like that becoming That's like a, Duke. Shout out to Jay Dukes. Shout out to Jay Even Dukes, though man. we beat him and he keep lying. Oh, oh, we man. keep, nice. we, we whooped oh, him we on him. live. We and during the pandemic. At an event. We beat them. I, be, I was at the event. Yeah. Was, they done live. They, done pro, they changed all the, the graphics. To say. I said, y'all I'm tired of talking about it. They won't give us Y'all still mad? I'm mad. We unfollowed all of them. We unfollowed Jay. I don't like it. Oh, I'm sorry. Like Matter of fact, we didn't even mention it. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so the colleges. Now, now you know what to do. Yeah, you know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. I need a big laugh at everyone. <laughs> yeah, right. Right. So hey, colleges, right? <laughs> right. I, I, I don't do them. Yeah. I did a school with Remo, and this nigga tow up, towed this shit up so hard. I was just up there like, yeah, did y'all like when Remo was dancing? <laughs> 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 Oh, was up, I used to be a dancing fool on that stage. Oh, hey man, bad, bro. Rodney Perry is one of the ones. Like I used to watch you on Comic View. You and Arnez J, like just the energy y'all had on that damn stage. Yeah. It's like watching DMX perform. I saw you know what Arnez. Saying? I saw Arnez do that shit with a broken leg. No, wow. no, no, Oakland, wow. California. Wow. Place called Jeffrey's Inner Circle. What? The niggas like, yeah. He's like, yeah. I hurt my leg. The nigga was quiet all through. You know, leading up to the show, he was quiet and shit. That nigga, that nigga all hobbled and shit. That nigga went on stage and did all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do it. I'm like, this nigga's Man, a genius. Cause he, he, cause he could hoop. Did he break his leg hooping? I don't know what the oh. nigga did. The nigga yeah, but I said, we just did a show with him and that nigga still be doing that. Yes, he does. He still be moving. 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 We supposed to all did 10. He did 35. Of heat. Oh, we it was tell, cold. We was outside. Nigga been headlining too long we to could, do 10 minutes. But we could tell right. that niggas, we were just happy to be on stage and be around some comics. And it was outside, so yes, that it was dope seeing. I had an RDSJ tape in my house. I don't know about y'all. I used to V, I used to VCR Comic View, all of it. Yeah, so, yeah. so y'all did the Kev on stage thing. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you need to do I, it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Um, this month, March 19th. Oh, yeah, it's man. a good way to get a look oh, free man. COVID test. <laughs> <laughs> I told me I gotta take one before I go. Oh, that must be new. Yeah, I asked. I need to take one before I go. Yeah, that'd be nice. Hey, I'm gonna hit oh. you up, man. Put me on the list, please, sir. Yeah. Gonna be out there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, done. Remo, Save show up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then that go boy. get his free COVID test. Come on yeah. out here. Check both <laughs> nostrils. Yeah, doing it for the audience. Thank you. <laughs> audience, please. Thank one, you. One I come in with some snot on my finger already. It, it just take that. <laughs> <laughs> put, that, put, that on your, put that on your shirt. Put that on your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's the craziest thing somebody, a fan has DM'd you on Instagram? Oh, I don't get DM's. I don't get 
people don't deal. They, they respect, respect you. your family I don't do either. They I respect the family. I only get dudes to send me stupid shit. Now I will say, like, I, I mean, I like all my fans, but male groupies are the worst. Yeah, <laughs> man. What you mean? Dudes, dudes that really fuck with you yeah. are the worst. They're a bit much. Like, so I'm I'm in Phoenix, right? Uh, girl comes to me. I say, Oh my god, you so funny. Da, da, da. Her dude is right there, and so I always. I always make it a point to address the dude. Right. You know, hey, dog. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, homie, man. My girl think you funny, my nigga. But, you know. <laughs> I, like, I hear you, man. You know, shit. My girl think my, my, my girl like Tyrese, nigga. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, at least, you, at least your girl don't like Tyrese, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Instantly defusing the shit. I'm taking it. I'm, I'm, I'm like, oh my breaking this shit down. <laughs> like crabs. <laughs> nigga, I cracked two more jokes. That nigga was like, nigga, you is funny. Baby, you I told is. You this, nigga, this nigga was a fan. He whole was the time. Whole time. Dirty God, he ain't you know, know how to talk he, to he, you. He, he joke fished you. Yeah, he joke He, he, joke he got you. He, ain't not a, he, ain't he said, I'm going to get him to do an extra 10. I don't like you. <laughs> That's how dudes do fine right, girls. Right, you, right. you all right. Yeah. For yeah, real? You right. Yeah, you know. Yeah, what you did? You like that? I'm, nigga, you don't like me. That's dope, man. I get. I got. You know who like me? Like, the hoodest of the hood niggas. Mm. Word. Hood niggas fuck with Roddy Perry. Like I, I'm doing a show at uh, Raleigh Durham at Good Nights. Mm-hmm. DC crowd, it's, it's nice, nice night. It's, it's, we just shy of sold out. It's a motherfucker sitting right there. I do some joke and it's a quiet moment. That nigga goes, my nigga, you funny, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> no laugh. In the clear. You know what I'm saying? And I stopped. I said, I said, man, thank you, bro. Cause I know you don't get that up to nobody. You feel me? I'm telling that nigga, you meant that shit. Fuck everybody else. You that nigga saying? is the number one fan. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing That's about the our community, man. Like yeah. some people really have to have been in situations where that is how you have to laugh. Right. You cannot express yourself. You cannot. And then you're like, you see, you may be locked up. You may be death row. You may be solitary confinement. But something funny happens, and all you can do is say in your head, "That's hilarious." Yeah. And then you gotta keep keep being it moving. Tough. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That Ain't is no that's so rough, man. Not only not only to be in that community, but then in turn have to break down mm-hmm. and diffuse that bomb of that community. We are so Im- fucking important, mm-hmm. man. Comedians are so important. We are the, we're the news. We're uh, 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 we're the sports. We sport. We're joy. We can. We we yeah we're the how to we the spirit we're the information we the spirit so like fucking buy merch bitch <laughs> buy merch <laughs> Damn, yeah. you know I say saying? all that <laughs> buy some say shit this. buy some shit that nigga did that, that was a bills. dope well this is a good question for Ronnie Jordan hey, man what's the best merch you ever had because mm, you are merch blessed AF, yours, the, everything bl- blessed, uh, blessed AF flowers going like, going how did going you crazy. how did you come up with that. I came up with that. Uh, I was just on on some eighty shit, looking mm-hmm. looking at some shit I had on, and I, I think I watched maybe Purple Rain and the old promoter nigga who looked like me, the fat dude with, <laughs> the, with the glasses hat. Then I might have seen Apollo Creed mm-hmm. corner man with some shit. And I was like, I'm bringing them back. Mm-hmm. Fuck that. And then I, I had an idea in a group. I actually wanted to make. Were well, you asking how you came up with the hat or the oh. blessed AF? The oh, bl- what you ever want you want to talk about? He the blessed AF hat design. The I'm hat design. About, no, I'm talking about the, the blessed AF. He's talking about the, the blessed AF phrase. came from I got a I got a really a hood cousin named Brittany. <laughs> she didn't say blessed as fuck, but her daughter was like, <laughs> her daughter was like seven, and she was like, "What's up, blood?" And then she started threw a blood <laughs> sign up, and I was like, what? "I can't say this, but how can I say this in a way?" Mm-hmm. That the same. Yeah, to kind of feel the same. And then I came up with the blessed and favor, blessed and fortunate after I was getting a lot of backlash. But this pastor dude was the first one to buy the first ever hat when I was in Baltimore somewhere. He was like, I like this. (laughs) This is amazing. Cause I, cause he I had the only had to give only, me some money, boys. Yeah, and, and he was like, too. did he know? Did he know? It was I blessed. did the joke. I had did bless as fuck, but I I hadn't had no merch for it. I had made the joke up way before that. But when I did him and had the hats, he was like, "This is," like he was like he wanted to say he was blessed as fuck too. Yeah, <laughs> was I like, ain't see the car these bitches done bought me. Nigga, I'm blessed as fuck. Nigga, I should be talking. A lot of y'all been wondering, man. You see in my shirt, it's a lot of y'all super saved people out there. I put two letters on the shirt. It's whatever's in your dirty mind. It could be blessed and favored. Blessed after five. Blessed after Friday. Blessed and fatherless. Blessed and fortunate. 
Bless our fathers. <laughs> Blessed are the falcons. <laughs> Blessed and faithful. Blessed and fearless. Blessed apple fritters. <laughs> Blessed that ass fart. <laughs> <laughs> Did he say that ass for me? Oh, that's great. That's the shirt. Oh, man. That's the shirt. Cut it. We can cut it down there. That's it. That's the shirt. <laughs> cut. <laughs> cut. I, used to be, oh, yeah, I ain't read the Bible in seven years. I had to be tired. I ain't read the Bible in seven years. <laughs> I just shout out, shout out to my cousin uh, Brittany Dale in Birmingham, fuck. Alabama. That's hey, my ride. That's my cousin. Do you send up. her free merch? How about sir? She ain't even got no hoodie yet, bro. I ain't shit. <laughs> yeah. I ain't shit. Uh, Woo! I come on, Diddy. Yeah, yeah, damn. I just thought about it when you said, I said, Get them people they check. Get the locks they publish. Get the locks they check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to send Brittany and my uh, other cousin Lisa. She the got whole a, family should yeah, be Yeah, she dripping. has a food truck called Dirty Red. She's a, she's a chef. Oh, like, she a business owner too? Yeah, so my dad like, taught her how to cook. My grandma taught my dad how to cook. It's like we got mm. a family of like chefs and oh, stuff. Wow. So, nice. yeah, shout out to my Birmingham Oh, people. the Blessed Air backstory mm -hmm. is fucking lit. Yeah, the Blessed Air backstory is real, but it's like it shit keep happening. My graphics was fucked up on the shirt. Today mm -hmm. and this guy was like, dude, I zoomed in on this quality wasn't right, and he was like, but I talked to him. I was like, man, my bad. I'm learning how to do this graphic shit myself. I had to build a whole side of my phone. Mm -hmm. He was like, man, I was in fashion. This man called me back. I was like, I fixed all your graphics. I did vector files just because I fucked with you, mm -hmm. just for you talking to wow. me. Because yeah, because yeah. I was like, nigga, I, I can give you money. I gave him his money back immediately. Like, yeah. Sorry, you know. So yeah. I kind of put all that with it like you nah. kind of got to live blessed as fuck like you every Ooh. day i'm alive come on now. is, a, is an that's amazing a day that's a book come on for yeah. yeah. door <laughs> you know hey. what i'm saying so <laughs> thank you free though Boy. you know just waking up trying to be <laughs> better <laughs> yourself <laughs> every day <laughs> <laughs> just go hop off by itself <laughs> 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 ain't gonna put anything <laughs> in it the hat gonna jump <laughs> the collection <laughs> the collection hat is all right that's it that's our cue as long as you don't ask for a thousand a thousand a day they fight detroit you see that i saw that how did you get Coming to America. So can we give it up for Roddy Perry? Yeah, yes, sir. <laughs> that bitch dropped this week, and we might drop this bitch back to back with Nav Green episode because yeah, y'all represented. And as soon as I saw that shit, I said, <laughs> that that is money yeah. changing. <laughs> money changing. Um, so <laughs> here's, here's the, the quick story. Of course, we audition for stuff all the time. Okay. Uh, and you got to become a DB when you're auditioning because if you you gonna gotta get forget shit ain't gonna you gonna you gonna not book most stuff. So I go in. The working title of the movie is The Quest. Mm. So Again? all the paperwork said The Quest. Everything said The Quest. I was so you off the scent. Mm. I got the audition. It says The Quest. I'm like, all right, I'm going for The Quest. I go in every short dark skinned nigga <laughs> in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> Who was there? there? Please tell nigga, me who's every, in there. That nigga uh Country Wayne was in there. Okay. Uh and I'm like, oh, I see that nigga walk in. I'm like, this nigga gonna get it. Mm, you Luzanne. know, whatever this shit is, that nigga about to get He's it. He's a star. The nigga hot right now. He's a star. You know, and so we we doing we we bunch of a nav come in, uh <laughs> all and then bunch bunch of actor niggas, you know, handful of comics, bunch of actors. It's literally twenty of us in the room. We're mm. still from juice there. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what Nav Green said is, is he was the only one in there that was built like him. He was, and he, then you walked in. He was like, "Oh, I ain't gonna get shit." <laughs> <laughs> he did say that. <laughs> they're, they're stupid, man. First of all, Nav is, Nav is fucking ridiculous. He makes Funny me laugh hell, like no man. other nigga. The funniest hell. So, so Nav is in there, and so I want to say, me and Nav went in back to back. I, I don't know if he went in before me or I went in before him, mm -hmm. but we go in back to back and we read. It's only a couple of lines. And so you do that shit and uh, George Pierre, shout out to George Pierre. Shout, shout out to George Pierre. Uh, uh, never George got nothing out of this from him. <laughs> <laughs> you got to stop making about you. <laughs> don't make it about you. <laughs> he, does it all, he does it all the time. <laughs> making it about me too, bro. Another thing. Motherfucker. Anyway, <laughs> so um, I, I read for the shit. You go out, get in your car, and go home. So, um, Maybe eight days later. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, if they wanted to book the shit, they would have booked me two days later. So I'm like, this shit ain't, it ain't gonna happen. Agent call, Rodney, you booked the quest. Oh, dope. I'm like, okay. In two lines, gonna go right, do it. Shit, I got yeah. the quest, when, when do it shoot? She's like, 
you're not you're not happy? I'm like, yeah, I'm not happy. I'm like, you know, I got I got life. I got shit to move around. If I win the shit, <laughs> gotta move, shit I got to move my family. When, when, is, when, when, is, is, when is the shit? <laughs> I got shit to move around. I, got, so I might, have, I might not can't pick up my can't pick. I don't even know what's Eddie. Nah, no, I know. She probably be like, nigga. <laughs> and that's what she said. She's like, <laughs> that's what she said. She said. So uh, you know, the quest is coming to America too. How you supposed to know that? No, I didn't know that. <laughs> how you supposed to know that? I don't know how I was supposed to know that. They be tripping, bro. <laughs> no, they released the name of the first coming to America on some deleted scenes bullshit. You got to oh, be yeah. digging. It's on the internet. But how was she supposed to know that? I, you I had no idea. That? Yeah. So I go upstairs. I'm in, I'm, in, I'm in my basement. In my basement, in my little room where I record my shit and fuck around all day. And uh, I'm like, yo, that's crazy. So I go upstairs. My house is never empty. Mm. It's always somebody in my house doing some shit. My wife was gone. She had just walked in the door, and she's in the kitchen. And so I walk upstairs. She's in the kitchen, and we're standing across the island from each other. And she's like, what's going on? I said, she said, no, it's all good. It's good. I just booked a movie. She said, oh, that shit, that's, that's good. That's good, right? I said, yeah, it's good. It's good. Um, it's coming to America, too. <laughs> I had to drop a couple of tears one more time. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, man. That's crazy, bro. So did you know Eddie Murphy before you got on the set? I had been around him. I had been in, around him a couple of times. I I was uh, I met him at the Laugh Factory in L.A. before. Mm -hmm. And his old handler, you know, you know, rich people always have, like, somebody to do everything for him, mm -hmm. was one of my boys. Okay. Okay. And so I knew him and... Uh, and so I had been to Eddie's house for like parties, but it's one thing to be around a nigga socially. It's right. another thing to be around a motherfucker on a set. Working, yeah. yes. You know, and so Nav, Nav, going through this with Nav was the best thing. Mm -hmm. Cause I got to look at it through Nav eyes. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm 20 pli 25 years in the game. I can be a little jaded. Mm -hmm. So we sitting there one morning, Eddie come in. Eddie go, hey, Roddy Perry, how you doing today? I'm like, oh, I'm good, man. I'm good, Mr. Eddie. Appreciate you, man. Hey, I'm good. Nav like nigga. <laughs> Did he call your name? Eddie Murphy just said hello to you, nigga. <laughs> you mean, bro? Called your oh, name, what nigga. You mean, <laughs> what? Called your name, nigga. Rod, nigga. Did you see? I'm like, I'm like that nigga did come with that. <laughs> <laughs> like, he did that. So me and that nigga, did, like man. all I see is we. There is no scene where we not standing next to each other. <laughs> 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 we, we was like each other's security blanket all through the shit. <laughs> And so it it was dope, man. It was dope. And you know, we did uh, uh the uh, uh DC Young Fly movie together. Mm -hmm. The uh Digitalized, Digitalized Matter. 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 Yeah, Digitalized yeah, Matter. Yeah. We did that. that. Good and so yeah, I was in that joint too. And, and, and we did the other movie that you started. How, Dirty South House. Dirty, the, the, she just called me. They they got put somewhere. They got placed like on one of the platforms. Yeah, I need I need I need my bank to tell I me think that. You need it. Yeah. <laughs> I know I ain't, I know my bank ain't gonna yeah. say nothing to me about that. <laughs> <laughs> I need my bank to hit me and be like, hey, the face guy, that nigga's here. Cause yeah, they got a new cover. They got me on the cover like I'm the star of the motherfucker. I'm like I'm in the oh, two nigga. minutes. You a star? Oh, you America on the too. cover? You gonna be on the cover of all our shit <laughs> this week? <laughs> <laughs> You got me Uncle Rodney. Right coming to culture. Uncle God Rodney yeah, is man. here. The takeover. We're giving yeah, a fedora away. <laughs> hey, but she called you. Hats. She called you again. Tell her to call me. I will. All I right. promise I will. And uh, but yeah, so <laughs> you know, getting the getting the uh, the reason I do comedy is Eddie Murphy. Mm. Come on, man. me so too. I'm sitting. My cousins and them used to we used to bowl every Saturday. So they would pick me up, we would bowl during the day, and at night I would spend the night, we would watch Saturday Night Live. Mm. And I remember seeing motherfucker Eddie Murphy do Velvet Jones. Mm. He was in the yeah, People's in the hot Court. Tub. Oh, he was in the People's Court. Court. And they say, Velvet Jones a pimp. Mm -hmm. He said, so Mr. Jones, what happened with the lady? He said, I don't know, Yana. The bitch is ugly. <laughs> <laughs> Say that shit out like that nigga. That's it. That's, that's what I wanna, it. I want to do. <laughs> that nigga is what I want to be when I grow up. Oh <laughs> man, the bitch is ugly. That's a t-shirt. I am Velvet Jones. I am Velvet Jones. Yeah, yeah, man. I was like, that's it. And and then to fast forward many years later and to be on the set and do a movie with the guy. And and, and this is why I explain it to people. The nigga is like being around a real king. Like, he really was like that nigga was regal. That, that nigga, nigga was really Hakeem. That nigga, that nigga is that nigga is King King Hakeem Jofer. Yeah. <laughs> like, but but his vibe was just like above like trivial shit. Mm -hmm. Like just 
just in regular life as he just moved around, he had a just a certain way about him. Right. I remember thinking to myself, this nigga is I've, I I know I've been around, you know, said and Steve them. Said has been a mentor to me. Steve, mm -hmm. Steve got jewels for you all day, every day you're around him. You know, I I've been around DL. Them niggas is kings of comedy. Mm -hmm. But that nigga is a king. Yeah. <laughs> they were oh, they were broke. They had some re some regalness. They were it. broke way longer. Yeah, he been rich, rich for a so long. Yeah, that nigga been rich time. our whole life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Easily. Been rich right. a long Since time. the early 80s. This nigga, yeah. This nigga was rich with Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah. He was rich he, with he, Michael So he is a king. They shot, they shot him out in the song Rich Man on Disorderlies when the fat boys were singing. <laughs> Baby, you're a rich man. Eddie Murphy. It's the first name they say. That's the first rich thing you thought. Prince Marky D. Rest in peace, yeah, Prince Marky D. Yeah, for the fat yeah, boys. The first rich nigga you thought about though when you was black was who? Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy. Leather. Even before leather. Mike. Eddie Murphy, Eddie nigga. I'm wearing. Mike, I'm getting leather when I get my money. Yep. I'm getting leather. <laughs> nigga, I'm getting leather something. Leather is so Crazy. stupid the way nigga. on stage. And leather nigga, killed that a, shit. A bad idea. But a it, bad idea. He but, didn't but sweat he a drop. But he said the bar. He said the bar. He didn't sweat a drop. Neither special, bro. What are you, what is going on? He probably on? had a Beyonce fan somewhere. We ain't know. I don't know, man. That, that nigga, that nigga, nigga pours just right enough for the show. Niggas a king. That nigga's a king. Man. Niggas a king. He told him, don't, don't sweat. Yeah. Don't you do that. Yeah, yeah man. Don't sweat, nigga. Damn, that's dope, man. Coming to America 2, coming out this Saturday. Can you tell us this what Friday. you're, what you're Friday. writing? Friday, March 5th. Friday. March 5th. It's not a midnight launch. It's a. No, it, oh, okay. it'll be out. It might be out Thursday. Actually. Okay. Mm. Can you tell us your role? <laughs> so. I think it, I think most of it kind of the trailer kind of maps out what the movie is about, mm -hmm. so I feel comfortable talking about it. But ultimately, um, King Hakeem Eddie Murphy's character fathered a child while he was here the first time that nobody knows about, mm -hmm. not even him. And so um, because of that, the laws of Zamunda requires him to have a male heir. Mm -hmm. And so it, with with his his wife uh, Lisa. He's, He's got, got daughters, daughters. Mm. and so he has to come back to America to 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 get this heir, which is played by Jermaine Fowler, who does an amazing job. Jermaine's Fowler, mother, who took advantage of a young Hakeem, is Leslie Jones. Shout out to Leslie, uh, just who amaz is amazing, and we're funny. their family. That's Myself, uh, 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 Tracy Morgan, Nav mm -hmm. Green, Lunell. That's a crazy oh, family. Y'all <laughs> look uh, like y'all could be right. Nigga, that's family. Y'all got the tour well in cast. the same family. Y'all got the whole tour lined up. Wow. If, if, if COVID hadn't happened, they was talking about doing a tour. Mm -hmm. You know, because Eddie Eddie is is working on uh, bringing doing a stand up. So. I heard. Coming to and, uh, tour. and so I, I'm gonna say it. I'm like, hey, Arsenio. Cause I know the right. city. I'm like, if you, if you, y'all do something, nigga, run me down. Don't Come forget, on, don't yeah, on. bro. Arsenio needs some more flowers too, bro. Arsenio is Arsenio, the coolest God nigga in damn. the world. Is he really? If Eddie is the king, Arsenio is the the coolest nigga in the world. Wow. wow. And like, it ain't nobody that nigga don't have a relationship with. Right. Like, I mean, you gotta think this nigga. There is nobody. I mean. Until we did late night, there was no other black face in the space. Yeah. And he's the only black male in the space. I was about to say, bro. I mean, there were some other dudes. Chris Spencer had vibe. Yeah. Uh, Sinbad, Sinbad had Sinbad. vibe later. Yeah. Um, Magic uh, Johnson had his Maceo, Magic had it. No, Maestro. Uh, was it Maceo? Maestro Clark. Maestro Clark. Maestro Clark, they, he, he hosted Soul Train. He had a late night. Oh, okay. And um, um, Keenan Ivory, don't do it. Keenan Ivory Wayans. <laughs> had a late night. Keenan Ivory Wayans had a late night show right. at one point. Mm -hmm. But. All that to, came to, after Arsenio, though. All that right. after yeah, Arsenio. Because yeah. yeah. they was looking to fill that, that void with a black was. face, be, but it never did. I wanted to be Arsenio, bro. Like, I no shit, that. bro. I used to be in front of the TV, like, <laughs> Yeah, my mom would let my mom yeah. wake she, she she let us, you your mean, mom let you wake back up, or you just wake back up? Pound, oh, no, we just stayed up. We weren't supposed to be up. Bro, my TV was on three. Like, the volume three. Now, the dog pound was actually the worst seats in that studio. Oh, no shit. And they made it into something. That's just amazing. Because those people in that set in that area couldn't see the stage. Mm. Oh, oh man. man. And so they made that into the most sought after seats in their in that room. Because wow. he kept changing. Was there the one who changed the name? Those are the people that da, 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 every week. He yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd moment. make a joke. They had a running yeah. joke on that. But I mean, it's yeah. so many dope people, man. I yeah. mean, like I don't think I don't think we show enough love to DC Curry. Mm. Shout out to DC Curry. DC Curry, DC Curry is the Curry. coldest comic in the game. Mm. And he's still cold. I heard he had money goes. before the comedy too. Right? Yeah, DC Curry, DC Curry family is in construction. They built Atlanta. No shit, nigga. <laughs> yes. Curry construction. DC Curry what? kicked it with my dad like every day. My dad was was a chef at this uh, golf course. Mm -hmm. 
My dad was like, DC Kirk, come just sit with me. They been the only two black dudes in there, man. He come just kick it. Great guy, man. I, he, I, I love hanging with him. Steve Harvey, you know, he get a bad rap. Because Steve can be a bit of an asshole. Mm-hmm. But you talk about game, like Steve Harvey. Like, so Steve had a show called Steve Harvey's Big Time. Mm-hmm. And I was one of the writers. There wasn't but two of us. It was me and Thomas Miles or Nephew Tommy. Okay. And so we would play uh, dominoes every day. Mm-hmm. So I meet Steve on the set of Johnson Family Vacation. He found out I played dominoes. Me and him play dominoes every day on the set. When I tell you this motherfucker kicked my ass, <laughs> <laughs> Steve Harvey kicked my ass <laughs> for months. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm a domino playing motherfucker. Right. But Steve Harvey is kicking my ass, dragging. <laughs> and it's, it's less because he a great domino player, although he was, but more because I, I was just intimidated by the nigga on some King of Comedy shit. Mm. And they kicked my ass so bad that he had an opening come up as a writer and he hired me to do that so he could whoop my ass during the day. <laughs> you you gonna really find a way to get a job. I just wanna keep you whooping a your ass. Whooping boy at this, this, point. Ass. <laughs> this nigga, this nigga whooped my ass, dude. And I'm now, I'm, now I'm frustrated because I'm a man. Because I'm a man. <laughs> I'm a man <laughs> I ain't no whooping I'm boy. I'm funny, hire me I'm for a that. Man, <laughs> man, <bro>. I'm, I'm <laughs> so mad, nigga. I'm like, I'm like, nigga, Rodney, you a domino player. You can't let this mother whoop your ass. I'm fed up. So I go in there this day, I'm ready, nigga. I'm like, I'm, I'm whooping this nigga ass today. And he would call it down, and we was in our office, and, hey, y'all ready? You know what time it is. <laughs> 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 that nigga, that, that was the mustache calling y'all, nigga. That that mustache, what he yeah, that mustache. Mustache. Yeah, hello, this is the mustache. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Tell them niggas he ready. Y'all yeah, know what time it is. <laughs> <laughs> so we played this nigga, man. He whooped Tommy ass, and then he would turn around and whoop my ass. But not this day. I go in that motherfucker. I'm like, I'm beat this nigga today. First game, come up. Pop, pop, pop. 15, 20, 30, 35, 50, 150, nigga. Game over. Beat the nigga. I like, all right, Mr. Steve, I'm going to get on, go back to work. Go back to work. <laughs> Ain't no work. Oh, nigga, this, this my show. Yeah, <laughs> You want to work, nigga, you nigga run it back. <laughs> you want a job, <laughs> nigga. I got to beat your ass. You want to work. Boss, you want to work. Oh, you <laughs> think you still You got to beat that nigga down below and lose. You think so. you still work here? <laughs> this, nigga, this nigga, we played again. I beat the nigga again. Ooh, uh-huh. shit. Yeah. We up to game three. I done won three in a row. Mm-hmm. I missed Steve. Oh no, no. No, no, right up here. <laughs> oh, you you think you think it's over, ain't you? No, no, no. And then they go in his theatrics. Cause every domino player guy. Oh, oh, uh, uh, go up there and get that man. Tell that man to come down here. Cause Roddy Perry, me and that man about to kick Roddy Perry squarely in his ass. <laughs> we play again, I beat this nigga five games straight. Ooh. Oh, Fucking him up. Domino playing motherfucker. That nigga Rodney P. <laughs> Rodney P. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you ain't even get Rodney P. Ain't bullshit today. <laughs> Rodney P. You sent that man back on that goddamn porch today. <laughs> he said, Rodney P. I see what you do, and they, they respect me after that. But you know, it was less about beating them and more about taking my power back. Mm-hmm. You know, Somebody. when you when you give people your power, then you already lost mm. before the dominoes even hit the table. So. It was, because <laughs> if dominoes fall, you hit. Because when the. <laughs> nigga, what am I, I need my joint. Hold on. Hold on, man. Roddy Perry dropping this shit in here, so. <laughs> nah, man, but. That nigga, that nigga would give us a jewel every day. Every day. Mm-hmm. Like, the nigga, the nigga turned to me and Tommy one day. He said, Riding the P. You sure you want this? Mm-hmm. I said, I said what, you, what you mean, Steve? He said, do you want this? You want all this lights, camera action? You want this shit? <laughs> you you got to know You gotta know if you want this shit before you get it. You uh-huh. can't get up to it and then decide you want it because it's a different life. Mm-hmm. I can't go to the mall with my family. I can't go to the, to the for Applebee's with my family, eat that, because it turned into something else. So you got to decide now why it don't matter if you want this. Now, do you want this? <laughs> yes, yeah, Steve, I want it. <laughs> go get it then, nigga. <laughs> and he, Ooh, like, he disappeared. I'm about to go home. That's it. That's he it for the day. Behind a mustache. Yeah. <laughs> I almost left my body. Just now. <laughs> nigga, what? Go get it, then, go nigga. Get it then, nigga. Oh, so if oh, Eddie oh. Murphy's the king and Arsenio is the coolest nigga alive, okay. Steve Harvey is that motherfucker. He's definitely that motherfucker. He's, He's that, that motherfucker. motherfucker. He is that He'll give you that game. He'll give you that whoop ass. He'll got them encouraging. Mm-hmm. Could All you right. tell me about the time? This, I know a comedian took one of your jokes and did it on a special and came back and <laughs> I ain't gonna tell the whole story. I don't know if you want to tell it because I don't know if I want to tell it either. Oh shit. Okay. Well, I might. <laughs> Keep talking, Ronnie. Can I can I can continue? Go ahead, 
Right. So Ronnie does a, sh a show. He got a joke he was doing for years, and somebody does his joke on a special. And then he comes up and picks Rodney up to tell him he just did his joke on his special. Oh, shit. What? And he tried to pay him. And he said, all right, I'll take the payment. And then dude never oh, sent the payment. Let me, let me, no, no. That, that's not, that's no, he offered that's you not, something. That's, that's not quite true. That's okay. how you do it. You tell the story yeah. wrong yeah. and then make a name. Yeah. Strategy. I see what you that's did. That's not quite true. The fedora true. said, don't so, do it right. So the, uh, <laughs> the person that we're talking about is Cat Williams. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and, and to give you some context, Cat and I go back to, to the Bay Area. You know, I'm, a, I'm from Chicago, but I'm not a Chicago comic. Gotcha. You know, I, my, I, my formative years and the, the place I grew up comedically is the Bay. The Bay uh, mm -hmm. housed myself, Cat Williams, Lunell, uh, uh, Daniel Dugard, John Austin. It, it, some names you never heard of, but not for no fault of their own. It was great comics. Mm -hmm. and, um, and, and of course, Cat was in an incubator with us. And so Cat moves down to L.A. first. Cat took, Cat Williams took L.A. by storm. I've never seen nothing like that before that or since. This nigga hired and fired every agency in LA <laughs> within like, nigga, 30 days. What? <laughs> I mean, CAA, all the big motherfuckers, he had hired and fired. It's like, this nigga can't, this nigga would do shit. It was so many, like the nigga would go into the, to the uh, Monday night, uh, uh, the, the, the Mo Better Mondays. He would go in that motherfucker. He came in there with a seven foot nigga one day with an umbrella. <laughs> with, <laughs> with, niggas holding the umbrella. With and Damon? I remember, cause, cause niggas like, cause you know, earthquake and them niggas, them niggas is, they gone, they ahead of us. They was looking at this nigga, like, who the fuck is this nigga? Uh, they was mad. They said, who this nigga come here with a nigga, the seven foot nigga umbrella? And the umbrella. It was like, nigga, what the fuck is this nigga? You can't say, uh, that nigga is keeping the hater aid off of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? you know, that's the type of shit he would do, right? Uh. And so, so all that happened. He get Fridays, and 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 Friday happens, and now he was cat in the hat. He went from cat in the hat to Money Mike. Yep, right. He becomes Friday. Money Mike, and Money Mike was dope. And 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 this is the the moment Cat blew up. He did the BET Comedy Awards. Which ultimately became BT Hip Hop. Mm -hmm. Right. BT Comedy Did he Awards went it? away. He didn't create it, but he got a, a focal spot because they had did him wrong. It only the show was only two years. So the first year, Cat couldn't get in. So Stephen Hill find out, he's like, what the fuck? How, how is Cat not getting in to the comedy awards? Cat was getting hot and and they didn't let him in. He was outside on the red carpet, couldn't get into the venue. That's crazy. They find out about that. So the following year, Cat's got a main spot on that show. So uh, there was another comic, well, I won't mention his name. There was another comic that bombs that night, right? A comic that never bombs. Oh, no. Bombs. But it's a room full of comedians, right? It's a room full of Hollywood. It's black Hollywood, right? right? And, and they're doing a tribute to Martin, and that comic bombs. If Cat bombs, it's just a bad day for stand-ups. But Cat don't bomb. It's still on YouTube. Cat has six minutes set of fire. Talking about going to Martin House and Martin House being so big and all that shit. He, he did this fucking, he had, he had girls walk out and he was sprinkling roses on the ground. He had <laughs> fucking <laughs> leopard, can't, leopard skin pants. The nigga was amazing. <laughs> so, the, 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 the nigga was amazing. <laughs> leopard skin pants is crazy. I'm sitting there, I'm the warm guy. So I'm there. I'm like, the nigga told me, he said, Rod, that day I went from making like, 2,500 a show to taking offers for 20,000. Mm, shit. Overnight from My that Lord. moment, that moment on those shows. But back to this story. So he gone now. You know, he he had done the movie, this and that. And I get a call out the blue. I, I, hey, nigga, um, <laughs> I'm outside. I'm outside. <laughs> like a I'm, vampire. I'm, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm in Inglewood, California, live in a three bedroom apartment. With your family. With my family, and I manage the apartment complex. So I'm still. <laughs> Yo, this Rocky nigga is Jerry, really Uncle hell? Rodney. Yeah. He done did every, done, done it all. A read nigga science, man. <laughs> Bro, that hat got so many stories. <laughs> I had this hat on. Nigga, this so. nigga is, <laughs> is <laughs> Issa <laughs> from Insecure. So, <laughs> so wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Rodney, uh, Rodney Ray. He Issa from Insecure. This nigga, this nigga got a, uh, he got like a, a SUV. But it's a little stretch, but not fully stretched. Okay. It's a little stretch. It's like a medium. Mid. Stretch. It's just long. Mid size SUV. <laughs> yeah. But it, was, it was like, but it was like it seat probably six. You know. So okay. Like an excursion. Door, you sit like facing. 
The oh, other okay. back seats were yeah. facing the back, mm-hmm. cussed, you know, like that. And that was his vehicle. Somebody was riding around. He came. I come outside. We talked. That, that. Yeah, you know, you wanna uh, let's go for a ride, nigga. You know. <laughs> and you want you want some you want you want some. I said, what well, some? What you mean? And then you want on some Jordans? I said, Jordans. Some Jordans. <laughs> Jordans. Right. Oh, my God. Do you want something? Oh, Jordans. So we're in Inglewood. Do you want so some like, Jordans? Like, yeah, yeah, get a nigga some Jordans. Fuck it. Some so Jordans. we ride around the corner to like a Foot Locker. And he's like, yeah, give my nigga some Jordans. You know? <laughs> wow. I swear to God. He didn't I'm get the pick. They just had to grab you some. Anyway, give whatever, whatever. Got some Jordans. Get my nigga some Jordans. <laughs> Get like, you my know, niggas some Jordan. I got some Gilbert Arenas. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I'm <laughs> some Asian Zeros. <laughs> some Asian <laughs> Zeros. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know if that's true. I'm mean, going <laughs> to uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, so we go out. We hang out for a few minutes. And then uh, and, uh, he, during that time, he's working on his rap career. So we hang out. Dipset. Dip These were Dipset. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, the Dipset. That show. night, you know, he, Took me out of the studio. He's like, yo, this, that, that, that. And, and, and now he finally bring me back home. You know, you just kind of be on this nigga world for a few hours. And it's like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm calling my wife. I'm like, I don't know when I'm coming back. I'm like, right. <laughs> Fuck this, your this, time. This man. might be it. You know, this I might, might never come back. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, oh, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I, nigga, um, man, um, <laughs> I, uh, you know, I got this special coming out. I did one of your jokes. <laughs> I like, I like really. I like which one? He told me it was, it was some like little thing I would say like a throwaway at the top of my set, but it was definitely my joke. And I was like, I was like, dog, I ain't gonna lose my sleep over that. Don't even trip. He said, nigga, I will pay you for it. I said, man, ain't nobody, you know, I ain't tripping. And and so we together maybe another hour or so. And I go, I got a gig coming up that I didn't get the deposit for. I expect the deposit, it's like a Saturday or Sunday, we together. I expect the deposit to come Wednesday. So before we depart from each other, I'm like, yo, I know you said you want to do something for me. I got a deposit coming. I can give it back to you on Wednesday. But if you can give me that thousand right now, that would be cool. That nigga said, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me call you back. <laughs> that nigga dropped me off. I ain't seen that nigga for three years. <laughs> That's hilarious. Let me call you back. Let me call you back. Did you speak to him after the Wanda incident? Wanda? Wanda, Wanda Smith. Smith. Oh. Did I speak to Cat? No, no, no. I I didn't know which Wanda incident you was talking about. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> what? Okay. I mean, cause oh yeah, it is okay. <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> so Monique show ends. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Monique show ends. Okay. And I'm here and for it. In reference to the one incident you was referring to, Correct. the reason I have no sympathy is because of this story. Oh, so the uh, <laughs> I love a good backstory. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm about to go. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, hey, bro. Wait, we get it's your documentary, right? Only show in versus one. Only show in. I'm, I pop in uptown, just pass it through. I pop in uptown. Wanda's hosting on a Friday night. I walk in. Oh, Rodney Perry in the house. Hey, boy. Boy, Rodney Perry from Monique Show in the house. Show us a little Rodney Perry. Ah, people clap. You know, come on up here. Come on up here. She bring me up on stage. Yeah, Rodney Perry. You out there on the morning. It's over now, though. Uh, what? what you gonna do? You ain't got Monique now. What you, you, you uh, and she just roasted me on stage. Whoa! In front of a room full of people, like nigga, you ain't got no job. Yeah. That's what your ass get. Oh, and man. I was sitting there going, in my mind, I'm like roast, but I'm like I'm gonna lose. If I if I roast her, then I'm the nigga that lost his job to know that I act. Mm-hmm. You know that that's all in his feelings over losing the job. If and 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 she a woman. And it's mm-hmm. always a disadvantage to any man. So, yeah. And so I swallow it. But I'm really not fucking with up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm also a nice nigga. So I'm like, you know, I'm not tripping, mm-hmm. but I'm kind of tripping. <laughs> so <laughs> fast forward when I see that. <laughs> I'm like, that's you get. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Shout out to Wanda Smith. And 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 and, 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 I, and I love it. And I never like to see nobody lose a job. Yeah, man. man. You know, I mean, I, I've been there. I've been there and done that several times. So it's it's not nothing fun to uh, tease nobody about. But yeah, yeah, this facts. is just facts, parts of the history the, that really the, the happened. Game, the game will even the playing field. Mm. Comedy fixes itself. Comedy adjusts itself every time. Like I see, I see even the, the young cats out here now. I'm like, you don't know, you don't know what it's gonna be in five years. Right. You have yeah. no idea. The internet could turn completely away from your ass. Yeah. You know. Or how about this? Black people could decide you ain't cool no more. They, that happens all the time. They've done it several times in history. Mm -hmm. yeah. That nigga step and fetch it. Ask him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was hot at one point. That yeah. nigga was the hottest entertainer in the world. Nigga was like, wait the a minute. He was there at the turn of the century, 1900s. A million dollars in 1900? That's a, that's a billion that's dollars. 40 billion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. Yeah, For step, a nigga, too. A nigga. <laughs> step and fetch and bird. the other nigga name was Sleep and Eat. Sleep and Eat. Sleep and Eat. Mm -hmm. That's a oh. real dude. He was eating, too. That was actually Sleep a group. Eating. It was two people. Oh, I didn't know that. That was two people. That Sleep was two and people. Eat. But it, it was a lot of those people. And what happened is the collective black decided they didn't want to be looked at like that no more. Right. And they turned away from them niggas. Damn. The, the dude ended up dying penniless. His wow. name was Lincoln Perry. Lincoln oh, Perry. Oh, man, that's your uncle? Wow. He, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's what we gonna go with. Right. Oh, my heart just skipped the beat. <laughs> if the descendants of Step and Fetchick ends That's up in coming to America too with a dope ass comedy career, Boy, God damn it, so be it. That's so it be it. That's hey. what they gonna put in the bio. Yes, sir. Man, well, we appreciate you coming Thank through, you, man, man. Especially man. on short this notice, dope, man. man. I mean, I'm glad y'all. You know, I'm trying to. Ronnie called me. You know, Ronnie like me. Don't don't front on us, dog. You coming tonight? <laughs> don't front on us. I'm coming. I'm coming. Appreciate, Appreciate you, man. you, bro. Because you you now. always yeah, like man. got a good word for for yeah. comics and you uplift yeah. the community. You fucking make us look good and you always on the new shit before these young niggas. You be on their ass, yeah. <laughs> immediately. You want to talk com comedians too that a lot of actors refer to. Mm -hmm. Like I know a lot of actor friends. They're like, yeah, bro, Rodney Perry, Dwayne Boyd, like, uh, the improvs and shit that you be yeah. doing, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, about a lot of people. Wow. Yeah, she was like, that was, the, Gail said that was the first class she was challenged in. Right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. And wow. she had been in some other ones. She said that was So good. take Rodney Perry class. You yeah, feel she it? Said, I need to take his class. My acting is horrible. It's not horrible. That's because you don't do you it. You would just call me, though. It's bad. Yeah. It's bad. It's bad. That's because you don't do it. I thought it's I'd be doing it. It's definitely a muscle. It's definitely a muscle. Yeah. You know, cause I used to be I used to be scared about remembering lines. I'm like, can I, can I remember this shit? Yeah. But it's like anything else. Once you do it a few times, you feel right. it. You, you got to think you're on stage an hour, 90 minutes at a time. You can remember, you a, remember a, lot a of page. Shit. Come on. <laughs> right. right. Two you know. lines. Yeah. Niggas <laughs> used to be on stage an hour. <laughs> Nigga sounds so defeated. The nigga like, I don't Boy. want to come on screen. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I still, I still yeah, go up. It's a up, control nigga. thing. I go know? up, nigga. I be looking at the COVID coming out of nigga mouth. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, you can see it. You had it. Hey, you like you say, it. you love comedy, man. Like, you're one of the most, uh, I guess, decorated, for lack of a better term, comedians that I see really at the open mic scenes all the time. And that's what, like, that's what the fuck Working I want to do. Bro. I want to make sure I'm still around and still getting. Like, why you in here? I'm like, nigga, I gotta work on my shit too. Yeah, no, they, they a lot of people are they, though. When they see you, they, they know they're not. They, they not they going. Ah. <laughs> when you leaving is what they want to say. And, <laughs> and the cool part up. is, <laughs> cool part be like, I'm going up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. try not to come early. Right, let everybody get your <laughs> shit out. <laughs> <laughs> if your ass want to go up, be good right. before I yeah. get there, nigga. <laughs> when I was a Rudy Pooh, nigga, I was trying to get there before they open that bitch. Hell right. yeah, Talk so nigga see your face. I would be at that motherfucker, hey, and, and you know, but this is what I try not to do. Like if it's my room, I try not to waste your time. Mm. Like, if it's my room, I'd be like, you ain't going up tonight. And they give you a chance to go somewhere else. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, nobody like to hear no, but no one is best. liberating, nigga. Yeah. It no is. Very liberating. Absolutely. Absolutely. I can stay here and watch, or I could go in. You know what I'm right. saying? But yeah, I don't have to, no more pressure. Like, man, when am I going to get that's up? That's the shit I hated, like, going back the whole shit. Like, going back and the comments getting mad when they don't go up. Like, we used to, I, don't, I remember watching for a month in a couple of these spots, like, not being able to go up. Because I'm too selfish. I was, coming to, I was coming to do my jokes. If you came to do your jokes, cool. Also, there's other places to do a room at. If you right. feel like you want to get up more, go host something. Yeah, but right. I'm like in there. I ain't, I'm hosting for somebody. It ain't even my room, bro. Like, shut up. Leave me alone. Once you get the mic, it's your room, <laughs> bro. <laughs> I, your room was incredible. Come on, man. Cloud nine. Talk your shit, nine. man. They got a reunion. Cloud Ride nine. Rose. And I mean, I used to like coming there because it was so honest. The audience was honest. You know, honest. That, is that, the best. And way they would, they would, them. motherfucking. And I, 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 I work. I came up with some like, I worked out some brand new. 
dope shit in that room. And I was like, yo, it just felt so creative, man. Yeah. To watch like Fat Man become mm -hmm. a comic in that space. Mm -hmm. And uh A lot of the guys were talking about Nav Green yeah. shit. DC used DC, to come in there, yeah. uh fucking money bag. Uh Spencer Neal. Spencer Neal was coming Neal. through there. Uh, Funny motherfuckers, man. Right I like those President Neal. I tell you what, I ain't gonna be riding with that nigga nowhere though. <laughs> man, that nigga went to Memphis. That nigga be driving and texting and smoking and shit. Oh, I'm like, nigga, oh, nigga, man, this is too much. Nerves, man. I turned to an old nigga. They were like, nigga, you gonna have to put, put, that, one put, put one of them out. Put one of them out. Put one of them out. One of them out. The blunt the phone or the car. <laughs> one of them got to go out. I'm like, that nigga, I know. I know. I mean, his daddy the same age. I'm like, nigga, you gotta, you gotta motherfucking focus. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> him down. Nigga doing 95. Nigga, nigga, nigga wobbling and shit. I'm like, this nigga don't kill me. Ah, the Tennessee too. Fuck no. Fuck no, I'm never driving to Tennessee. Is it that time? <laughs> it is definitely. It is oh man, I believe so. Now, don't we? <laughs> Something like like it's hot. It's it's all good content. So whenever it drops, it's still it's still gonna be worth it. I believe. I like to see you fucking up that water like that. Yeah, Ronnie yes, on this shit kale sandwiches. Nigga got a kale sandwich in his pocket. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I did oh, throw oh, a mess I'm, I'm of black eyed peas on some kale today. I just, nigga. A mess of black eyed peas. on top mess. of a whole bunch of kale. Nigga. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on this uh, chopped salad shit. Okay. So you, you can get more lettuce in when you chop that shit up into small pieces. Mm -hmm. Chop that shit up. Motherfucking, you can do some tuna or some of them chicken chunks. Right. Put that shit in there, and you can do kale. You can do any anything you want, and roll that shit up like a burrito. That shit feel like yeah, you eat some real kale, shit. She made me kale mm -hmm. these kale wraps, man. It's dope. Thank <laughs> you. Feel like you eat some real shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I don't feel sluggish don't or shit, so I, do, I definitely can tell the difference. Oh, like, ain't nothing like, like motherfucker you when you do it right. When you oh, ain't nothing like being regular. That doodle -doo slide right. Team like, regular. You been like, bitch, I knock your head off with my dick. What's up? What's up? No, knock your head off twice. What's good? Team way. regular. All right. All right. Secret, Secret Genius. So we like to end the shows with a segment we call Secret Genius Life Coach. Yeah, we hey, do. Give people some words of wisdom. Get through the week. Get to the next episode. I am Kamal, the Secret Genius. Words of the week are this. The nigga that bring the ball can't always hoop. But <laughs> without him, neither can you. Woo! So, respect the value in a team and the role that different members of that team play. Everybody's not going to be the star. Somebody's just going to bring the ball. Mm. That's all I got. That's all we need. You write one of them every week, nigga? Yeah. They have many. I'm in a tuck. I told you he need a coffee table book. Nigga, that's book life coach. Nigga. You got to see it when he real high, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, this ain't it. You can tell when he uh, real high when he's like, yeah, it is that time. And that nigga takes several seconds. <laughs> to get, he don't care yes. about nobody else. Yes. He's like, nigga, you know we here waiting, right? He's like, yeah, like, yeah <laughs> man. So <laughs> I'm come on, the secret genius. <sighs> like, nigga, open your open. phone. <laughs> you know, your face will do it. Your face open. <laughs> right. <laughs> you have to put your face over there, motherfucker. Nick Cole yeah. sounds stupid like seven times. <laughs> Let's get these flicks, man. Rodney Perry, man. Come Rodney Perry. Morning Culture is the brand. This is the Morning Culture Show. Come on, the secret genius. Remo Rod, Tyler Chronicles, Ronnie Jordan. Special guest, Rodney Perry. We out. Can we get you to do it?